Brian just had to be on for this one. It's all this extra work. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I was going to do a different game, but I decided this one. Now, listen. Hold on. No, no, no. I got to wait for the moment. That she wants is another baby. She's gone tomorrow. All that she wants is another baby. <laughs> Come on, it fucking fits there. Brian no, doesn't understand doesn't. music. I don't. This sounds like Nightcore, the Nightcore version of that song. Nightcore? Nightcore is where it's all sped up. It, this sounds all sped up. What? No, this it's is like just disco. BPM. Well, this is just disco. Brian forgot disco. He doesn't know what the 70s are. This just sounds like music now, Alvin. Ace of Bass is just disco. Well, Ace of Bass is just disco, but it's slower tempo than this. Damien Wolf says it kind of fits, so I'm wrong. I, I'm not arguing it. I'm not, I'm not arguing whether it's faster or slower. It's about the beat. All disco is the same thing. Everything's like a rhythm of four. One, two, three, four. Most disco is the same. There's that one weird song, though, so you're wrong. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that transition was great. That was like Superman cast the title screen off into space. Yeah, look at Slick Clyde. Oh, I love this game. Is this recent? Did this come out last year? Yeah. If last year is like 30 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I love a character select where they're like pre-rendered. Like this is obviously the back of the box. These renders of them. An illustrator worked really hard on these. He did. And now he's been replaced by AI. God. Uh, I posted today, apparently the Spider-Verse guys, like a bunch of them quit and a bunch of them were fired because they couldn't get it done in time. And they just kept cycling artists. And I posted, that's kind of what happens when you're doing big IPs. That's why I don't have fun doing that stuff. And then someone wrote like, you're completely wrong. Not all big IPs are big money sucking companies. And then I looked and he worked for Activision Blizzard. And now I think he's, oh, think mercy. he's with me. That's funny you mention that because this game is published by Activision and they won't re-release any of it. And the, <laughs> the Vigilante Arcade, there's a port of this for the Xbox 360 right called Vigilante 8 Arcade. And they had like one guy working on it. Yeah. That's awesome. Dark <laughs> Just, says, and it had online Brian. multiplayer and everything. So there's one, one poor dude. He's like, well, we'll let you make it, <laughs> but we're not going to give you any money. And you got to work by yourself. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Activision Blizzard. You're awesome. very nice to your employees. Real, real good track record that company yep. has. I know. SpinX40 says, Time to eat my first Warhead. Okay, chat, do you enjoy Warheads? Hellbent, do you enjoy Warheads? I think they're um, they're like a, a mock candy. Warheads are great because some kid would bring them to school and go, Try this. I'd be like, Fuck yeah, free candy. And uh, then uh, I get really dizzy and fall asleep. So I don't like Warheads. Helvin, I don't think those were warheads, and I don't think that was a kid. They're really chalky tasting. Got a little kick to it. It's been sure I'm <laughs> wrong, though. My drink. Definitely's got a kick. Yeah, maybe. I can't eat hot Cheetos either. I'm a weirdo. I just I find it tolerably hot. I, I didn't like practice that stuff. this game maybe at all. Is this, like is this a little loud? Head. I can never tell them. I don't know. I have it turned down. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to like check on the stream? Nah, I think I got it. Oh, it's a, oh yeah, I think it's a little loud. Oh, no. oh yeah. it's also a little hard to control. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. Oh. <laughs> it's actually easier to play it by ear than it is to look at like meters and stuff. That's true. There well, we go. So, um. We did the we did the premiere of the Christmas thing last night, and um, all the things that sound good in your headphones, I will notice they're like 40 times louder. So if I fuck one aspect of the sound up, it's being projected through a theater. And that wasn't fun. Well, no, you, did you learn Every your lesson? Every once in a while, I got a little too close to the microphone. Did you learn your lesson? No, I actually just released it as is. 
So this Brent game Halen. is the secret Brent moves Halen. for the guns. That's Van Halen's son. Every gun has its own little secret moves. I don't know so what you go I'm down, down, at. up, machine gun. With this, you get buckshot. Well, actually, I don't have it selected. Never yeah. mind. Regular <laughs> shot does this. Buckshot does. But it would be really this. cool if I could do that. Well, maybe it doesn't. The game likes Dragon to fight Empress shit. Says, Tigers are really beautiful cats. I feel like Red Dragon Emperor's. This is gonna tell me how a tiger has somehow hurt somebody. Has a tiger ever hurt somebody? Right, she right. Loves her dad. Chat. <laughs> look at that! Look at the little windshield glass. I love it. Yeah, it's doing its best. I think this was released in 1997. I also think it had an N64 release, but for whatever I've reason, I remember the PlayStation 1 one being like like more for some reason. I don't remember why. Because uh, it wobbles more. Honestly, it's the easier one to get a hold of. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. I want to pay like, you know, $82 well, the, the way for he N64 gets his games cartridge. That he emulates. Uh, well, the way Hellbent gets his games is really weird. He goes to an antique store, and the guy always says that you don't pay with money. And then sometimes we turn around and the store's just gone. But they usually have the weird games we want, so, you know. And yeah, I get sleepy effort. afterwards. Every time. You can sleep a lot. I'm yeah, actually know, playing I'm... the game right now. Yeah. It's okay. Not my Hellbent. fault. Just, just... <laughs> just, uh... Sit this one out, buddy. Spinex says it looks like a Scooby-Doo van. I keep thinking it's the Pizza Planet truck. Look at that password. It's like a password. <laughs> Here's your passcode. I hope you got a fucking pen and paper. You dumb shit. I hope, you, I hope you're not illiterate or like, Oh, my you know? God. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I forgot PlayStation passwords used to always be like X, Y, triangle or no, sorry, triangle, square, circle, circle, R1. <laughs> why would you make it alphanumeric? Yeah, why wouldn't they put some numbers in there? I don't know. There's also some texture artifacting Plug in the in background, but I don't think that's people. the game's fault. <laughs> that's okay. Um, Woo, goodbye. I just I just had the thought legitimately in my in my head that why don't they just take why don't the kids take their cell phones and just snap the password? Oh yeah, that would have worked. You know, if you had a Polaroid. Yeah, but even then, you'd take a picture and there'd be those black horizontal, you know, <laughs> bars and cover up. It would just cover up the fucking password and nothing else. Yeah. Uh, Ed's Lord funny. Shadow wants a Twisted Metal spiritual successor. They're making another Twisted Metal game. I mention that every stream I play one of these. <laughs> every single one. Elvin, are there more Twisted Metal games? There's another one on the way and a TV show on Peacock. Which I'm actually kind of excited for. It looks like it's going to be campy, but I'm pretty I mean, sure Twisted Metal can be voice. campy. It could be campy and serious. That's the beauty of it. It's got that multiverse bullshit. I thought everybody liked that. Oh, there's a, there's a weird, weird group of people that play Twisted Metal that needed to be dark and edgy like an ICP concert. You know what I mean? To where their definition of dark and edgy is like, what if a guy yeah. murdered someone, but, but, hear me out. He was a clown instead of a murderer. Wouldn't that be fucked up? Wouldn't it be fucked up if the hamburger helper had like razor sharp I teeth? It's just a mere glimpse of the sick and twisted mind love that I have. Like that. Yeah, further gaze would drive one insane. Um, male gaze. It's not male gaze. <laughs> My <I'm>... hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> hamburger helper, really. <laughs> Why isn't the hamburger helper a lady? That's what I want to know. Well, see, the evil one's called the hamburger herder or the hamburger uh, disabler. I don't know. <laughs> hamburger <laughs> hinderer. There's a hamburger hindler. Yeah, to help. but that sounds a little yeah, bit like Himmler. Himmler. You can't Himmler. have that one. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I'm having a Himmler, and I will be making you into bratwurst. 
you, you, Look, you we got to get the cartoon out by Monday. Do you want it or not? Helvin, I've been thinking if we do cartoons, like real cartoons where we write shit. Um, I was talking to Pat today about being in Christmas. He goes, I kind of wish you just made it look like Clutch Cargo. Like, I like how shitty some of that stuff looks. <laughs> like, we should get A-list people to do a Clutch Cargo animation. I think that may be some of my love for the hamburger team there, is adventures. I'm just not terribly impressed by animation Reused. anymore. As hard as hard as it is to make, right? There, there used to be a yeah. time that there wasn't a whole lot of it, but now there's more animation than I could ever possibly watch in one sitting. So now when I see something's been animated, I'm like, oh wow, they worked really hard on that. That's my first thought. Not like, oh wow, really I love this. Oh, what staff. is this? It's like, oh, oh damn, somebody busted their yeah. ass. Well, you and I also have this weird thing where, like, when I was a kid, I started noticing, oh, they worked really hard, and now you and I go, oh, wow, they saved a lot of money doing it that way. <laughs> they did it the fun way. Yeah, it's more interesting seeing where they didn't torture themselves. Like, hey, look, they didn't torture themselves in that part. Yeah, they, they cut didn't corners, do that. and it looks good. Watched all of Beavis and Butthead, and, and, like, after one episode of it being in Flash, we're like, this looks amazing and cheap to do. <laughs> They're having a great time. And no animators got hurt. I'm like Milo Spinach and Otis. Sass, have I ever tried uh, cheese fries? We're not talking about Milo and Otis. We're talking I talking about right? cheese fries. What the fuck? Um, are cheese fries the ones that are like loaded with cheese? Because I like chili cheese fries when they're like on top of my fries. Yeah, chili cheese fries are like cheese fries, but with the chili. Okay. Because I know some, some company like Burger King was making like fries with cheese in them. And I thought that was weird. On not in thing like injected cheese products. Yeah, it's like yeah. those cheese hot dogs where they put the cheese in the hot dog. <laughs> like, oh, that's not gonna explode when you cook it. How are those trees rendered? Uh, two D. Are they just flat or? Oh, they're all flat. Okay. Yep. Get ready for your cheese injection. By the way, this game controls really bad sometimes. <laughs> I, I do like it. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, okay. it's got a it's got a Still 90s charm. Late 90s charm. Yeah, that's late 90s, I, I, mid 90s charm for sure. That looks hard. You want a French fries, Paul? Sure, why not? I don't think anybody knows what Interstate 76 is anyways. <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh, yeah, I remember clicking that. Actually, the numbers are better now because when I clicked it, I clicked no and it was 99% no. I feel like having cheese and chili cheese is like wrong. So I'm just going to put chili. <laughs> maybe yeah, some people don't like cheese with their chili or maybe they do. If you like cheese in your chili fries, that's going to be, that's just going to be assumed. Oh, you've put your cheese in my chili fries. You fucked them up. <laughs> you ruined them. You're a no talent. <laughs> I've got real chili in my blood. That guy really needs to be a food critic. <laughs> Why isn't John Lovitz a food critic? He hates food. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he has an affair with it. All right, so speaking of horrible things and Simpsons people, did you see that Mike Reese, like the Simpsons writer, uh, was on one of those uh, Titanic vessels? Oh, it's not too the, 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 cool. the trees are 3D, but they got little JPEGs wedged in between them. Huh. Oh, really? That's cool. Some people like that look, some people don't. <laughs> I'm just happy that there's 3D. What's going on? <laughs> uh, I'm going on a ride. <laughs> ah, you no, the... you fuck face. <laughs> He's driving on the ski lift. Yeah, this game's fun. It's stupid, but it's fun. <laughs> That's some Aqua Teen shit you were pulling out there. Lightning. <laughs> yeah, the Aqua Teen game should have been like this on the, on the go-kart segment. 
Yeah. Master Shake's casting lightning. He's like reading a wiki how. I won't you cast don't lightning. even know who I am! <laughs> <laughs> I curse you! The more I think about it, the more uh, Master Shake could have gone to the mall and had like an attraction sign. You know? It makes sense. Yeah. I, I got a feeling they didn't have a lot of time or money to make that game, so you know. <laughs> crunch, right? That's what keeps, keeps me away from a lot of things is crunch. I've had chances to work on plenty of things. And I always choose the thing where it's yeah. like, hey, we like your voice. I'm like, yeah, that's that's more like it. <laughs> um You ever like when someone someone wants to hire you for something you can't do? Oh, I love it. Check this out. The game's got train deformation. Never mind, I'm not a ammo, I can't show it. But if you do a special move with this thing, it'll actually make a huge crater in the ground that'll like that you could drive and flip your car over. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh Red Dragon Empress, how strong is a trash compactor? Why is Could it lift why 50 is, times its own body weight? Why does trash bandicoot look like shit compared to this? Uh I'm asking. Question. No, I I don't Were know. Were they just stupid? Um, Crash Bandicoot had a lot more triangles per inch. But they didn't like textures in those games. They were, like, all poly. Yeah, but it didn't have banging rock music in it. Well, that's true. I don't love the score for Crash Bandicoot. Like, like the whole first three games, I don't love most of the songs. Actually, I love the, and the, guys I love the soundtrack for the Crash Bandicoot game. It's cool. being a jerk. We should like play that other one I that know. came out. I like the snow one. Whee! Which one? Oh, oh, it just came out too. Yeah. But it's got like, it's got season passes and stuff, and that's where I, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. But I'll, oh, once yeah, it's on PC, true. I'll play it. I'm not buying a PS5. Also Mostly that's point. on PS5. I would watch you play it. Somebody had to buy me that one. I don't want to spend six. Is it a seventy dollar PS5 game? Is it one no, of those? No, no, it's a it's a thirty it's a thirty dollar game. Okay, it's, that makes it a little less like painful. Lightning, 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 lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning, lightning bolt. Hell yeah! Lightning. I didn't even have to try. I just had to get six of those and just hammer the fucking attack button. Yay! Good job, buddy. I win skiing. Looks like you really stepped in it this time, Hulk. <laughs> I'm the shower. Passcode. <laughs> Anyways, I interrupted the hell out of you like five times. Were you talking about something about like, like no, I, I'm on to, I'm no, don't worry about it. Cause I saw okay. that video with the crash bandicoot on, you know, the, the hub. What the fuck are you talking about? Nah, eh, whatever. Oh, are you saying crash bandicoot was like a porno? No, no. What's wrong with you? Are How'd you, you decipher you, that you out of what I said, Brian? What's your search history? You said the hub. Yeah, the cartoon hub. Oh, okay. Um, God. The niche community we're a part of. That nobody would know about. Let's just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> After his exploits in Colorado. I like that. Oh, it's look, just those like... textures are fucked. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't a pure You're experience. To Doom 3. Wait, is that Native American Reservation? Oh, hell yeah. Pay him a visit. <laughs> look, at the, look at the rock just clipping. There's a tumbleweed. It's a tumbleweed. Here. And it's, it's fucking my tumbleweed. car up. <laughs> I hate it here. You're not allowed to do this in modern games, Brian. <laughs> what, TV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like when no. it breaks apart like it's made of like it's made of wood. It's almost like it's a teepee, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, no, they put that no, if they put that in like The Last of Us or something, there'd be articles. And <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, let's let's tear up the Native American reservation, Brian. That's what we're doing today. I, I like that once you hit the teepee it falls apart like solid matter instead of like the cloth. Oh yeah, it's like you it's made I mean? out of cardboard. Like, it's like someone froze it and then you broke it, like it shattered. The Iroquois Indians used every part of the Amazon box. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Oh man, I would hate driving out here. I hate driving here right Install now. <laughs> Install so some headlights. Yeah. Oh, train heist. Ah, uh, get me on that choo choo. No, the bees. How come the bees is a juggle One. combo? Uh, one time my cousin and I uh we took the truck for a joy ride and we were trying to <laughs> we we're trying to do drifts on the gravel and what we didn't know is the the tires had never been replaced and the car was made in 1991 <laughs> and so we tried doing a drift and the car fucking spun out oh it was really fun anyway wear your seatbelt because my cousin didn't and we hit a bump and he actually did knock his head clear into the, the the top of the roof he's like i didn't know that actually would happen yeah that's half the reason why your seatbelt is there so your head doesn't bounce off the ceiling of the car yeah you always think it's so you fly the outward sorry. yeah with <laughs> the chandelier i've seen people with car chandeliers lightning 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 i like the strategy of this game sleepy dog says uh oh damn brian's skull has skin on it again have you been saying that I was dead? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> it's okay. No sleepy um, dog zone just as illiterate as all. It's his problem. Oh. Okay. I'm the smart That's one. That's his issue. Gotcha. Um. No, so I'm filming a documentary uh, about the stuff I've been working on, and part of that is going to like these festivals, and it was like a three-day event. So getting ready for the event and then not going to it and uh, i was like hold on i'll be on one day don't worry and i was figuring at one point he was going to text me like don't don't even bother Just don't don't come back go to I your don't festival. Care. everybody's got a life I, I i one thing i really hate is when yeah. i'm busy and then people assume i'm ghosting them when it's really like no i'm actually like completely fucking overwhelmed right now yeah no there's there's it's very like, little you hate to be this game's great by the way <laughs> <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. It's one of those games that when you play Twisted Metal, there'll, there'll always be one person who's like, actually, this was way better. And every time I try to play this again, I'm like, eh, I don't know. Like, I guess. You know, <laughs> it's there's got a lot some, of stuff like that. It's got some better 3D graphics. It's just one of those games where that's on the back of the box. 3D graphics. Full 3D. Look at the fire. Real 3D environments. I like the Destroy lens Destroy the Native Americans. Fun on their own land i thought you were on mars when i started the level when you started the level it looks like it because of the texture artifacting what can i say it doesn't like the emulator da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. it's like How i does do that a lot of driving sound around like? to grab weapons in this game that is one of the features da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. all she wants is another baby see that one doesn't work I know that's why I like it. You know what's horrible is I know like 40 songs like that where you can sync the lyrics to anything, and I can't think of a single one because I'm staring at. Well, just think of Ace of Base. There are like 90 Ace of Base songs that sound like. I'm sorry, Ace of Base sounds like 90 other songs. There's only like three Ace of Base songs. No, they all stole from Ace of Base. This is a well-known science fact. <laughs> Why is this guy getting limited fucking bees? <laughs> Why are there bees? I don't understand. He's the beekeeper. He's sending and more fucking outside, bees at me. Set off the nuclear device and you're just having a bad old day. Yeah, I, I just remember this being better. This game's just fucking agitating. <laughs> Look at this. My favorite part is the sound. Like the kilobit ratio on the sound is like crunched down. Yeah, I like how everything's made out of rubber. <laughs> that car's made out of about 20 triangles. It's What's that show? That poly wheels. count show? Yeah. Oh, that's where all the. I like that the crash <laughs> racing game. They they couldn't. They had to draw the wheels off. Yeah, they do that in a lot the of games, are... and it was honestly a smart move because, like, you know, if the tires are that tiny. Who cares? That's true. If I don't find Jeez, health, I'm going to have to do this whole level again. 
Oh, uh, I remember like when I was trying to find a house that was like the same model as my house, like there must be one. I was thinking maybe I could give the chat photos and like the GPS coordinates of my house and then they they could help me, right? It's always a good idea. Lightning. Don't send it to any of your friends. Lightning. The Lightning. Leprechaun. I went again <laughs> by running around and doing nothing. Wait, wait, so is it a point really system? What's killing them right there? Time, well, <laughs> there's like bonuses like cars totals and whammies. I think whammies is when you like knock the shit out of somebody and they go flying in the air. Whammy! Yeah. Oh, and there's like level objectives. So like you're supposed to be doing more than just attacking the other guys. Like on some will be like, yeah. take out the power plant. Right. Rating 42%. No, I thank you, Moist Wonders. I'm doing okay. Honestly, I'm 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 horribly tired. But I got Brian here to help out, and I got you guys in chat to root me on, so which I always found root you on to be funny, because root in like Australia means to fuck somebody. Oh yeah. Root him on, Brian. Stop rooting me on. Yeah, stop rooting. <laughs> You're rooting for me. Stop it. <laughs> Sleepy Dog Zone asks what? I I said what I said. <laughs> Ever heard of White Torture Ass Rag Dragon Empress? Yeah, it's pretty much my stream. <laughs> I think we're overdue for some of it. Yeah. White Torture is what I did to those TPs earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this game's offensive. <laughs> and I'm no better. White torture is when there's this funny prank when someone's sleeping and you just get like some industrial like adhesive caulking and you just like put it in their mouth. That's, that's, that's murder. <laughs> <laughs> that's not They'll torture. There's a difference. Dead. You're not supposed to They'll kill be, them. They'll be, in, you know, like when someone's sleeping and you shake a box full of bees and you lock it in the room with them and then you like. You know when someone's sleeping and you the get like a bottle of bleach and ammonia and you just pour them all over them while they're asleep and go, ah, I pranked you. Whee! <laughs> YOLO, uh, gotcha. You, you know guys when, just aren't when ready for my extreme lock lifestyle. In a room. Yeah, <laughs> my extreme lifestyle. You lock someone in a room with a treadmill that goes on infinitum, so uh, when they start falling asleep, they start getting massive abrasions. That, no, that's why torture, instead of saying infinite, say infinitum. <laughs> I'm the philosopher. You know, my fan. <laughs> you know, they mostly say uh, that infinitum. you're not supposed to lock someone in a room that never stops moving. Poor Pautius Infinitum Lupus. <laughs> 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 you know like you know like when someone's trying to sleep but you put like <laughs> you put like caffeine pills into their like their nighttime tea so they start having like heart palpitations and yeah, you know when like your friend's trying to lose weight <laughs> so you sneak in at night and you take like a little a little tiny like straw foil sugar water and you pump like you know 48 ounces of sugar water in their mouth while they sleep and no matter how much they die they keep you know getting when, bigger when you're you're you know when you're when your friends deathly afraid of uh ants so you start sprinkling sugar around them while they're asleep yeah so you buy a projector and you get a video of ants on a green screen and then every when they come into the room you just predict ants all over <laughs> uh, that's a good idea oh, that wow, scared shit. me that's shit really smart. <laughs> yeah no, yeah you know i got you know you know a lot of good ideas you know you know when your friends afraid of space aliens so you dress up as one and hide all the guns before the day starts yeah, that's a good one. That's a good way to do it. Make make sure you hide all the guns, though. I've I've failed that part. Or at least say I'm immune to bullet your human bullets. So they don't use <laughs> I it. They're like, well, I would shoot you bullets. with my gun, but as you mentioned, bullets do not hurt you. One of the you remember the South Park episode where the guy is like, I am a normal man. I am Bill Cosby, and he's the he's the the Arnold Schwarzenegger ripoff character. That was one of the writers 
uh, who apparently whenever they would go to like retreats, he would he would walk up to the guy at the thing and be like, I lost the key to my human room. I mean room. Just see if he could get one person to think he was from Mars. It'd be funny if he was successful and got kidnapped. He had to all forms of human room, says OCD. <laughs> <laughs> I am immune to all your forms of are... human lubrication and fornication. <laughs> you know when you're when you They call me on my are... planet, Brian. Unfuckable. When your parents don't want to have another kid, so you start poking holes in all the contraceptives. I'm <laughs> no, pretty sure I've listed that's gen <laughs> like that's genuinely evil right there. That is the most horrible thing anyone could do. I can't uh, have a little brother, you right. say. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's like unknowingly do not architecting ever do the that. Divorce. You will go to jail. You will go to jail. Well, I mean, I don't think they could throw like a, a deranged eight-year-old in jail for doing that. But what, what they can do is get divorced. <laughs> this advice is only for thirty-year-olds who want a little brother. You will go to jail. <laughs> now, if you're thirty and yeah, you do that to your parents, <laughs> I don't even know what to fucking say about that. It's like just on a complete, that's like something that I wouldn't, I'd be like, that'll never happen. And then like some people, like, actually, there's an internet article, right? Red Dragon Empress would be like, actually, help it. Take, <laughs> 2018. Take the, take the and, uh, birth and control pills look uh, remarkably similar. Yeah, Advil, <laughs> M&Ms and birth control pills look just the same. <laughs> you just cry. You, you just finish the M so it looks like a B. You just draw a line in it. <laughs> you you just look your thumb and rub it over the M part. <laughs> <laughs> write a little B on there with a marker. It is weird to me they make candy that looks just like pills. I do think it's funny that Advil right. looks like chocolate pill, chocolate medicine. It, 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 it look, yeah, it looks like M&M's. Um, and the sugar-coated ones especially. But, like, they should make <laughs> fun-colored Advils. Or they should make... Uh... <laughs> Pride Month Advils? <laughs> it doesn't look like, just like just fucking like Skittles. Yeah. That'd be the You're worst idea. The... Don't do that. Any Advil rep <laughs> listening, that's a bad idea. They're trying to trick you. <laughs> Out of the eight or nine Advil reps listening right now. Don't. I have a very that strong a uh, very strong connection with the Advil Corporation, Brian. They love me. I cause lots of headaches, so they get a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it would be a really cool idea, though, if you had a, if they sold M&Ms that were shaped like fucking pills, like capsule pills. M&Ms now with, uh... Like, imagine a, imagine a shitty... They just put Benadryl ingredients in imagine the m Imagine a sugary candy. It's like, well, they keep making rap songs about Benadryl, <laughs> so I, we thought, hey, you know, why not, like, combine two... <laughs> When two worlds collide, love can sometimes form. It's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like oops all crunch berries. Yeah, oops all Adderall. It's, all... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the commercials, like, it's like there's an Adderall truck and an M&M truck and they crash together and explode. And it's like, whoa! <laughs> you got your chocolate my peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yellow M&M's, like, yellow M&M's organizing all of his fucking paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> but one thumbtack in candy. <laughs> There's one thumbtack in every, uh, in in every Skittles pack. <laughs> if you're lucky with thumbtack. Donald Liddell, yes, I have seen the George Carlin skit on the death penalty. Don't remember what it was. Remember George Carlin, though. He used to get mad. Can't film in the bathroom. <clears throat> <laughs> this looks just like Slayer's X. It, it really they does. It, I, yeah. They got it. They got it with Slayer's X. Ray Ruiz, Ruiz, have you ever uh, seen somebody who had a candy bowl in their house who put Skittles and M&Ms in the same bowl? Now, we've been saying some fucked up shit, but, like, I'm sure you'll go to jail for doing that. I personally, what I do is I, I put... I lick my finger and then I rub the S out and then I get a white Sharpie and put an M on it. 
and your teeth will just sit back and enjoy the ride. I like to get a huge bowl of fruity pebbles, then put like one or two pieces of that little gravel they put in fish tanks in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I uh, wonder you're what the ratio teeth would of that. be. You're gonna fight yeah, down and go, mm, yeah, fruity pebbles. About... <laughs> Bonnie! But what would the ratio... I, I think that's super believable, but I mean, there would be a ratio, right? It would be like, you can get up to 30% full of aquarium gravel before someone notices. We tested it on 90 different people. Wait. What? I gotta start all over? Why? Why would you start over? Well, the thing is, like, I didn't meet the object. Okay, objective. What's the fucking objective, oh. huh? Aircraft graveyard. Because I think I got the bad ending. <laughs> this is bad for the lore. Protect the hangers. Oh, God, I got to protect stuff. In this game, you got to protect shit? How? <laughs> Just thought about what if you what if you made a cookie and filled it with Skittles instead of M&M's? Oh, I mean, you know, that could actually work if you did it right. Enough sugar. But, like, the sour ones, I don't know. <clears throat> like, you know, it's like a cranberry muffin. Oh, God. Towards either going to be hell or heaven. I haven't had a cranberry muffin in years. Yeah. I do like a little bit of bitterness in my stuff. I remember eating a lot of tropical Skittles as a kid. You, you would know it by looking at me. Remember my mom used to say they taste like fucking Flintstone vitamins. Why do you like these? I'm like, I don't know what a Flintstone vitamin yeah, but is. Yeah, but shut up. If you have a damn, shut up. You paid for them. I well, remember... They, they followed uh, me into the airplane and killed themselves. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> it's like in Grand Theft Auto. God. When I was little after school, my mom would always go to AA. Uh, I guess that's just when you had it. So I'd come home and, you know, I'd be like 10, 11, and she'd be like, all right, here's your little mission. And she'd give me like six, seven dollars and like get, get some candy and some food. And then you just go chill out in the other room. And then her remember, car would be gone. I thought, and then her car would be gone. And the weird part was it was a different town. You're like submission. No, I always remember home. buying Wonder Balls. Yeah, do you guys remember Wonder Balls? No, I don't remember Wonder Balls. No, you fucking Wonder don't. Balls oh were, god, uh, it's gonna take longer now. Ah, my brain. <laughs> Wonder Balls was uh, it was a chocolate thing that was melted together into a perfect sphere. Like they, it was obviously two parts, and then they would fill it with like. There'd be like a little bit of that like pure sugar hard candy that was sour. And then there'd be like a little rub on tattoo. And it was like the economic candy. It would you get a little tattoo and sometimes a little plastic toy inside the Wonder Ball. Oh, I think they, I think they called something else in Euro European town, but they had to like they had to change those because people were choking on the toys inside. Oh, that explains it. Which is funny. He's like, mmm, th this toy with candy, <laughs> and I'm going to swallow it. the whole thing. Yum, yum, yum. I love toys. Yum, yum. <laughs> the car has the cigarette on the back of it. I like how it goes bang, every time I can't fire the weapon, so I got to hammer it anyways because this guy needs to die, and I don't have a lot of health, and the game's kind of <laughs> being mean by giving me a protect the hanger objective. Just bullshit. Did you see that new Mario game helmet where it looks like Spider-Verse? Uh, you know what it actually looked like? It looked like that Mutendo uh, thing. If you know who that guy is, the... the Yeah! <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> he fucking ran into the airplane. <laughs> Bye now. So you get that now. No, it, it reminds me of... Uh, it, it, he'd take like Terry Crews from the fucking uh, Old Spice commercials. Okay. And he'd put him in there and he'd like make all the sounds. If you look really close at the art and all that, it's like, oh wow, they actually are capturing the energy that Terry Crews like 
YouTube poop video, basically. That's funny. I'd have to see it's it. It's really popular. I, was... I, I can show you just one moment when, like, the blue, blue flower or whatever comes out, and it goes, yeah. ah! And it's just like <laughs> Terry Crews screaming, ah, And I'm like, oh, I see what they're doing. They're taking, like, little audio hints from memes and stuff and injecting it in there very subtly. Hear that or it's a complete coincidence and I'm insane. I mean, it's very possible. I ain't playing Vigilante 8. I'm a hero. Let's see what happens to Slick Klein now. Oh. What? <laughs> I don't think I found the video. <clears throat> Here I, come. Here uh, I think I had to, like, stop playing as Slick Clyde, but, yeah, I met all objectives. Good job. You just play it as like different characters. Yeah, and they all they like, all like have one huge story. Hold on, I'll find one for you. Okay. Yeah, people are really <clears throat> getting excited for that Mario Wonder game, but like, it's cool. It's fine. But it, it looks a little claymation-y to me. That's the only thing. They're trying to get rid of the polish on 3D stuff by cutting the frame rate, but I, I find it makes it look very choppy and strange. But I'm glad they're doing more than just Mario moving left to right. Oh, it's funny. I, I can't find it now because that Mario Wonder uh, thing actually makes it oh, harder to find funny. the guy's name because it's hard to spell. Did they just make this... Did they make this title just to bump his video off the just a YouTube search? Oh, like, like the, you remember the Disney Frozen conspiracy where they're like, if we just make a movie called Frozen, we'll bury all the Google results about Walt Disney's brain. Oh, wow. I can't find it. What? That's you weird. That, that had like 10,000 Jam... videos. <clears throat> That's funny. Do you remember that Space Jam 2 video where, where they're like MS Paint drawings? That's one of my favorite things. And then Space Jam 2 actually happened and like completely destroyed its SEO. Like oh, you wow. couldn't they, find it. They hit this I, so I'd hard. Going way back. 6.4 million views though. Here, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, thank you. Anyways, I think they saw this and took a couple of uh, audio cues from it. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, now back, now back to this. Goodbye, agent. Oh wow, yeah. <clears throat> and put some put some uh hippos in there too. The dice, bro. Mario's an elephant now and it sort of looks like transformation fetish. It doesn't. It's just a fucking plumber turning into an elephant. Everybody's porn to everything so hard that you can't have a character transform into yeah. anything without somebody <laughs> going, Oh my that makes me <laughs> jizz. Like I could have like a you, you, you know No, sorry, finish. No, no, go ahead. You have something important to say, Brian? I I, I was going to say, you know that one guy that we both like that always makes characters into, like, fat jungle book guys? Oh, yeah. That's I think that's why I see that. And I see Mario look down. He's like, I wonder if I can just sit on somebody smaller than me. What if you farted into my face? I thought that would be very funny. Ha, ha, ha. But, you know, what if you did? <laughs> but, but let us really try it. Well, let's do it for real. Let's see how funny it is. <laughs> like Mario, you're going on a transformation. He's got like a huge erection on his trousers. Like, yes, <laughs> though, this is my uh, my dinosaur to stick a source transformation. <laughs> it would be funny if Mario transformed into like a stegosaurus and he's just really tired and pulled him sleep for a minute. He transforms into a, a, a dog and immediately starts licking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then turns back into Mario. He's still doing it. He's like, yeah, he's like, hey. it's, it sticks with you, <laughs> you know? Makes sense after you have to experience it. It's like, oh, of course. Ryan Miller saw the Flash movie. 
I know you were waiting to see that Flash movie, Hellbent. I mean, it looks interesting, but it, it's still just, uh, what is it? It's just Flashpoint? Yeah, it is Flashpoint, but I just don't care. Yeah, well, I already seen Flashpoint twice. First in a comic and second in a cartoon, so. Why it's Flashpoint, I... but there's there's two Ezra Millers and like, oh, never mind. I'm playing as Boxy Brown. Um, <laughs> Sleepy Dogs on five bucks says someone lied to me about work saying I was asleep all day yesterday. I refuse to sign the sheet my boss gave me today. No proof at all. Did Sleepy you Dog, if you're in a union, you, uh, <clears throat> you can tell us. I've had people lie about me at work. Yeah. Yeah. It's see, okay. when they lie about you, what you, you do is that you poison it's in them. The name with uh with truth it's in the name you are you are the sleepy dog yeah wait a second your name is sleepy dog brian i think we're being bamboozled i think no. he did go to sleep at work i think i think sleepy dog doesn't have a job because dogs don't have jobs that's not true police dogs have jobs i spent like an hour yesterday watching police dogs <laughs> bite people's butts <laughs> like the guy goes come on, the on let's go boy let's go and then he lets the leash off and you see like the the, the german shepherd just dart into the bushes and then you hear ah! <laughs> <laughs> and they go up and the dog's just chomping his ass like they love to go for the left butt cheek i think they train him to do that but the best one is That's really they have funny. a they have a bloodhound to find a guy right the guy's in the swamp so the bloodhound's yeah. like sniffing around finding him and the bloodhound finally finds him and he peeks his head up out of the water and the bloodhound runs up and starts kissing his face and licking his like all the sm <laughs> stuff off his face like i found you <laughs> <laughs> i found you hello there you my even friend like, even the criminals laugh he's like get the, get the dog off me <laughs> great <laughs> that, that that does have to be the most passive way to get arrested is like <laughs> send out the uh send out the police puppies you just get tackled by police puppies you're like ah stop it stop it i've done a numerous amount of sexual and aggressive crimes yeah i mean while the, the beagle's That'd just cool. licking the pond scum off his face going hey i found you looking a little dirty there you shouldn't hide in here dude the beagle i mean another beagle the bloodhound <laughs> thinks he's finding like somebody to rescue but they're gonna they're gonna arrest him oh <laughs> that's funny <laughs> his life is ruined he's like i saved your life and he's like uh <laughs> Well, uh, I was watching that Dahmer movie. Um, stop me if, if this is too fucked up a topic, but like every time a judge or a cop shows up, they're, they're smiling going, you know, kid, you got your whole life ahead of you. And it's like they, they do that same bit over and over and over. And I'm like, I have not met a single cop that ever looked. Actually, I met one cop that was like, you seem like a nice kid. Every other cop I've ever met either hates their job or they're very like aggressive for lack of a better term i wouldn't want to you be could, a cop you can tell they're I, yeah i'm not i'm not saying that wow. like game their lives are great i would probably be pissed all the time if i were a cop they're the hall monitors of society of course, of course they're all angry and fucked up but the, a lot of them are jocks that became hall monitors too there's not so many cops that are like, mm, I noticed that you don't have your hall pass. Every ticket ever given has been that. Every ticket ever given is a is a guy going, yeah, so uh, told in the hallway now, bro. This is one, one of my favorite quotes. I've never this had is a super true. Cop. Any law, any law, the, uh, any law with the punishment being money is a legal thing for a rich person to do. First person can That's speed true. the car all they want because totally you know, what of all, oh, we'll go back and pay a Money. ticket. I can pay a thousand of these. I know, I know. Welcome to capitalism. Also, I totally butchered the quote, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Welcome to welcome to hell. No, but your, your your car your car looks like it's about to just shoot into the air, like you got infinite jump. But that's true. My grandpa used to always say you can murder, steal, lie, you know, assault all you want, but. uh you know, we just have a point system for it. Are you willing to pay the price? Can you pay the price? Yeah. Not even willing, because a lot of people don't. They're rich, yeah. they don't want to pay, but they're like, eh, well, all right. You gotta force them to do it. Well, it's like child support. Well, um, it's le it's, legal to, it's le bad. legal to abandon your kids as long as you leave $5 on the counter. I know. Well, in, in Seattle, uh, we've got a particularly uh, egregious homeless problem right about now, and, uh, uh, all problem, the, Ryan? 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, there's these poor people who just want to smoke meth outside my house and destroy the property value. Yeah, rich people can smoke I meth mean, all they want. You, you're saying what? that, are you saying local homeless person shouldn't the have the same rights as... It. The same rights as Hunter Biden? Look, all I'm saying is I've gotten like $200 in tickets to just having parallel parked my car the wrong direction, like on a cul-de-sac where I wasn't No, you're not supposed anyone. to do that. And they're like, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. And then <laughs> They're right to ticket you for that, you dumb can... fuck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> he parked the wrong way, Brian. No traffic. Only rich people are allowed to park but the car the wrong way. But my neighbors parked the wrong way. That's the weird part is my neighbors were doing it. I'm the only one who got a ticket for it. I'm like, you parked your car the wrong way. Yeah, well, your neighbors, your neighbors people. deserve better. Fuck off. So, anyway, but then like a motorhome will pull up, uh, and suddenly they'll get a warning, and then they're gone. <laughs> and it's like. They don't give them the, they give them those tickets that are like, hey, move. They don't give them like, we're just gonna charge you a hundred dollars for upsetting the peace. And uh, if that isn't a controlled form of pushing people around, why don't they put the, why don't they put the uh, expensive tickets on the tweakers cars and threaten to tow them? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they don't want to waste their time giving a ticket to somebody who can't pay it. So there's like, right. there's the haves, but, the have-nots, and the kind of gots. Uh, so it's not too much to yeah, it is, is kind of like a three-tiered class system. You have the upper class, the uh, lower class, and then the homeless. Homeless ain't got to pay nothing. Because <laughs> what are you going to do? Put them in jail and feed them? Nope. I know. Oh, yeah? You better watch out, homeless. Um, I'll put you under a roof and give you a meal. You gambled and you lost. There is, <clears throat> there is someone I know. <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> that was cool. That guy's cool. There's someone I know uh, who I worked with for a while that slowly but surely stopped coming to work. And I know they're on meth. There's just no way they're not. And um, I just, I think I've shown you some of the posts, right? Where it's like, I need $200 for all the dishes in my, in my kitchen. <laughs> Here's all my mismatched dishes. $200, please, or best offer. And it's like, man, how far from reality do you have to get once you start making those choices? Like, I under, I, I understand drug addiction, like, believe me, but I, I don't think I've ever been delusional to the point where I'm like, all right, Hellbent, uh, this desk for my computer that is now six years old, I need about, you know, 150 bucks for it. Yeah, to where, the, to where you're so delusional about having to get your fix, it's like, yeah, I'm going to sell you this pocket full of... Band, this pocket full of uh, rubber bands for eighty dollars. Yeah, and you're exactly. gonna buy it. But it's sad seeing that posted on social media, where it's like, these are real, genuine Pyrex products from 1985. You know, can I have eighty bucks? Yeah, it's real Pyrex, guys. Real Pyrex. You don't see this every day. It's like <laughs> yeah. I do, I do get the Pyrex is expensive, me. but nobody remembers the ad ads from the 70s about how new well, this material well, the, was. The, the is only Pyrex the new Pyrex. Yeah, that stuff's expensive in, now when you buy new ones. It's not expensive when you buy 80s. It's not like 70s mixers that were like $500. <clears throat> no, here's a fact about kitchen appliances. Uh, they're yeah. only worth 10% of their value on a good day if used, even if only used one time. Oh, you can use it one God. time, but if it's from a kitchen and you used it once, then it's it's done. Look at that train deformation. Look at that. That's cool. That's pretty Whoa. neat. That's pretty high tech. That's really high tech. I do get why people uh, like this game. It's actually more fun in the arcade mode than the story mode, so we'll do a little bit of that too. Sure. And also let me know if it's too loud because I still feel like it's too loud even at 30%. So, look, they just don't mix games like they do yeah, movies. Yeah, if it's too loud. In movies, yeah. they like to make sure that you can hear. I mean, in video games, like to make sure you can hear stuff. In movies, they don't care. <laughs> now, before I die, Spider-Man, Spider I need to tell you this. Is it mine? Actually. I remember uh, 
my aunt bought a uh, a lamp for forty dollars. Right? Aunt can't my buy aunt's things. Uh, well, my 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 aunt is a Christian lady. She's uh. Oh, your aunt. She's uh, my aunt. It's, oh yeah, it's my aunt. But they kind of live out. They live out in the sticks, right? Like like. They still have shit from the 70s and 80s that they've never replaced. They just kind of, you buy something once and you're like, oh, this is, this is what it is. Um, I, I kind of think if you live out in the sticks long, long enough, your concept of time. Whoa! It's a pretty cool concept fact, of actually. time gets a little fucked with. That was really cool. Anyway. Hey, babe. They, uh. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh. Hey. I. She was. Uh. They got a lamp and it was really wobbly and um, uh, I, I was like, oh, this is, not, this is kind of a cheap lamp. She goes, hey, I paid $40 for that lamp. And I was like, I think a lamp now, like all the ones I buy start at like 50. Like, are you kidding me? I can get you a lamp for $10. I'll get it at Goodwill though. Yeah, but I'm saying like a floor lamp, like one that isn't wobbly. Nah, you can get like some cheap Chinese thing for like 10 bucks. It's got like an annoying little light switch on it. It's, it's definitely cheaply made. We live in the age I, of yeah, like Chinese saying, made cheap plastic I crap know. consumerism. I get that shit on Amazon, no problem. Flea markets are scared. No, Actually, no, no, no. You think the flea markets hate Amazon? I don't know. But they do. But what I'm getting at is uh, my aunt thinking $40 in 2015 for a lamp is what forty dollars for a lamp was in 1980. You know what I mean? Where like to her that was a lot of money to spend on a home appliance. And um, I did people. I we've been talking about this, but people older than us seem to like inflation happened. A forty dollar lamp now or a forty dollar desk now is not what a forty dollar desk was back in the day. And we also only remember the good shit because we throw the rest of it in the landfill. They just don't make them like they used to isn't necessarily true. Nah, if you shop around, the thing, the thing is, with yeah. if, if you want to buy things these days, especially stuff like lamps. Yeah. Oh, like he died. Does that mean I win? <laughs> Did you say Palpatine won? Anyways, <clears throat> so... I'll give yeah. you an example. TV screens, LG, Samsung, and uh, Asus all use the same screens, but then they put them together in their own yep. little boxes and stamp a CPU on there and go, voila, done, new TV. Yep. If That's you true. buy a lamp on Amazon for $10, that same lamp is not going to be the same lamp in a year because it's going to be manufactured in a different facility, usually overseas, probably China, maybe Taiwan, Mexico, something like that. Yeah. So there'll be this lamp that's ten dollars that has like ten thousand great reviews. Then they change over to the other manufacturer, then it's awful. So the trick is mm. to find them while they're good and <laughs> while they're making the good thing, then buy it while they're making the good thing, then it's never coming back. That's funny. And that's what you gotta do now. So yeah, you can get it cheaper than you could back then. But in order for it to not fall apart instantly, you got to make sure that it isn't one of those things that got like handed over to the other factory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm starting to learn? And this is just because you've watched me buy a thousand monitors in the last month. Um, I can now see that every, every manufacturer uses the same color panels and shit. I can see how blue and green is rendered on different monitors versus other ones. And just about every company seems to use the exact same color panel now. Well, you know, you might as well. NTSC was a good standard for a lot of reasons. Mainly because it was a standard. I just don't understand. Yeah, but I don't understand why monitors have different, like, color panels. Like, they, they change enough that you have to buy calibration tools. If you're gonna be like a real colorist, nothing I buy is ever color calibrated. Only by hand, obviously. <laughs> I remember the button combo for the knock him off the screen move. The knock him off. I'm chief knock him off the screen. We're past that level, Brian. Go, 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 now, go, go, it's, go. now it's not okay to say that. Mm. There's a time to say that. Are you going to hear 51 now? 
This looks like where my dad used to live. The exactly property like values this. were low. And mm -hmm. the polygon levels too. I was Back gonna in say, my and day, the car only afford a few polygons. Closely. He's stuck in the hole. <laughs> my dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, my dad spent so much time being out in the sticks. He spent like 15 years out in the middle of nowhere. It's like an hour and a half to get to the nearest Walmart, you know, an hour to get gas. And he, he's just kind of in his own little world with his with his friends. And now he lives uh, in Tacoma, which is like a fairly populated area with like lots of I've people heard of to Tacoma. hang out with. Yeah. That's in Washington. Anyway, he can't see now, so it's, yeah, it's not as cool. That's got to suck to finally, after Washington? Like, when it's on the other coast, uh, it's on the other Florida. side. I live in, uh, I live in, uh, Martin Luther King County. Does that mean I live in a bad area or a good area? <laughs> I couldn't tell you, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I really don't like their, I don't like their vectorized Martin Luther King picture. They need to update it. They just ran it through like... They did a trace bitmap, basically. It is funny when they take like a historical figure and like they, they put them through fucking uh, trace bitmap. Yeah. It's like, come <laughs> okay, on. So we gotta vectorize. Yeah, there there should have uh, been a point here where you're like, hey, I'm putting I'm putting JFK through trace bitmap. Is what I'm doing like tasteless? Nah, it's fine. It's not even tasteless. It's just a, it lo it looks very. Uh, once again, as as the artist who went to college for this crap, it's like I think bright yellow fonts are gross looking and they look cheap. And then there'll be an ad for the fair that they've been using for 20 years, and it's in four by three with bright yellow font going fair. Every every since this guy goes, he goes yeah. <laughs> no. a good time. Uh, this game is fun. It's just it look. I like Twisted like Metal it. more, but this game has its charm. We'll say that. I like this game. There's no Washington in I it. Like when, I like when it makes car noises when you start the map. Little you gotta things protect like that. the it's visitor like center at Hoover Dam. <laughs> Your Hoover's pissed off. This game feels like something they threw together really fast. Uh, I could be completely yeah, kinda. wrong. Yeah, kind of. It is an Activision product, and, and as you know, Activision is just great to their employees. Yeah, I, I, learned I, that I also today. feel like this is a more because somebody really Activision. knew what they were doing, too. Like, they got their hotshot programmer and then said, okay, we're going to torture you. And he's like, okay, finish this by now. Like programming right. in vehicle physics would be a very hard thing to do, I bet. <laughs> we should we should start learning. I would like to make a vehicular combat game, but there's two big problems you know, not with just that. Anyone can make video. Well, first of all, you have to make it work yeah. online, so now you got like a physics-based video game with online multiplayer, which I assume is probably one of the hardest things to do. And then second, nobody really cares about the genre anymore except for like <laughs> the 50 people watching right now. <laughs> Elsewise, everybody's like I'm watching like, you play this. I don't care about this. I care about you. I, I do not want to play this. That's there is fair. a game I really want to play, um, and I was going to install it before I knew we were streaming. I'm glad you're having fun. It looks kick ass. It's fun. It's dated, I but just, fun. I'm, I'm I would happy recommend to it to a modern it. audience. There's a sequel that's better. So, you know, when there's a sequel that's better, it, it is kind well, of fair for me better. to send, show you the first one. Go, here's the first one. This fucking series is awful. It's like, well, that's not fair. The sequel's on Dreamcast. Well, there's a lot of games like that, especially in... I was going to say, this is the right era for the... The 70s. sequel being, like, 80 times better. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's how, the, that's how about, it was done uh, back then. Like, you make your game really cheap, really quick. 
then if people like it then you make the sequel and like give them a little bit more time to like polish it up use the same engine and all that and they get just some time to finish the game engine off and then they like put in all the art assets and then boom they're done i didn't know that uh because you remember i've been playing dishonored 2 a lot i found out they rebuilt the engine i think the original was like a proprietary Proprietary engine and then the, the, the second one was uh, <laughs> yeah. You gotta get a lot of <laughs> Jesus Christ. But it's just funny to me that uh the they're like, well to make the second one we're just gonna have to rebuild it from scratch. Yeah, well I can uh, you've been there with an art project like, before more than once, I'm over. sure. Where it's like fuck, I just gotta start over if I want this to look the way I want it to. I'll, I'm having that right now with, with Crispin too. Uh, there's a couple of shots where we go back to the first one and I have to draw reverses and you can tell there's about two year difference between the art. And then there's also, uh, there's also shots where uh, I can just put the first one in and no one would know the difference and it looks great. They run into the problem kind of the, the standard the standard audience member just not having time to watch as many cartoons as we do. So they're gonna see like the first and the second one to where you see a massive difference and they go, I don't know what's going on, what's the difference? Yeah, they're Yeah, you know, I can you see know all that cartoons. stuff what's, about what's using the, the, the computer the computer assisted uh rotoscoping and how I was kind of afraid people would catch on to it and think it looked shitty. Yeah. Um I, I showed the trailer for the second one at the premiere yesterday and they um, all the people walked up to me and they were like dude you got like twice as good at drawing in between those two and I'm like yeah totally so you it turns out we're just gonna keep using that forever because no one they, they think I did it look at him go uh, I like that when you flip your car over the game oh. it's like ha 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 sucked for you ha ha <laughs> Somebody's did a dirty card. <laughs> Shoot, man, I yeah, but you have to sit and wait for it to time you out till you die. <laughs> um. AI's coming. <laughs> I wanted to hear this? his funny thing he says at the I'm end. Dizzy. But you talk over every single one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I didn't know he said a funny thing when you lose. Is there a reason you go back to the title? Brian sees this character. He's like, I don't care what he has to say. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I need now I got to look up the voice actor. Hold on. Look, bear with me. I'm either I'm either like making making a a judgment that's wrong or hold on. Maybe it's an IMDB. I'm looking, I'm looking. But all day. They don't credit the voice actors. No wait, no wait, they got they got four voice actors. And uh yeah. None of them are black. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, here we go. Uh, just, just, look, hey, look, that's not John DiMaggio, around. huh? Another John DiMaggio product. John DiMaggio. That's right. It is weird that John DiMaggio is trying really hard to make a lot of social comments about about actors and deserving money and. He made a whole documentary where there's like a two minute scene where, where it's just him interviewing his black friends going, he's allowed to talk like that, it's fine. 
Now <laughs> say it. Measure gets on stage. L listen to my voice. Yeah, no say, say it. Say it, or and I'll get you that job you wanted. For real? Yeah. <laughs> just say. Just say it's okay for me to do the black voice. I have not watched I Know That Voice in about five years. It was a really good documentary. I think he produced it or maybe he directed it, but... You know, it's funny. It's not just a John DiMaggio problem. Maurice LaMarche was in Command and Conquer no. Generals. And he paid Chi Tao oh, no. And he talks like this. Oh, that's and, very, and way worse oh, that's than that, actually. Cool. One of the quotes is, I hope you prepare your new crit or your red rind underwear. It's like, damn, Maurice. You nailed that one. <laughs> Got it. I thought it was a real Chinese person. <laughs> yeah, I, don't even, like, I, I, don't have, I don't have a problem with that, mind you. I just think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the kind of people that would oh. like shit down your throat over that these days are the people that like were actively making careers off of it earlier. It's like having Jim well, Carrey go like, "Hey, don't do racist stuff, man." It's like, weren't you? Didn't you like? Aren't you one of those guys that put your fingers on your eyes and went, pop it, you know, <laughs> that thing I'm not allowed to do. Yeah, totally. Well, he's like, well, I did that for, it was different when I did it. Like, what do you mean it well, was different? It's one of those things, man. It's like, uh, there's a, there's a story where for the movie Pootie Tang, they were casting people and they needed, uh, they needed an, you know, Pootie Tang does the song that's just nothing, like it's dead air for like a minute and everyone's grooving on it. And then it cuts to the Chinese family and the dad goes, hey, turn it down um he's like he's like i just wanted the family to be chinese it just made sense to me and every dude went oh turn it down like like just doing insane offensive voices and he's like no just say hey turn it down and he's like oh like in my normal voice and he's like yes mr chinese man and he's like hey turn it down he's like perfect you're higher it's way funnier if you sound like regular people well, that's funny to me that that's he talks with an American accent, but he's like, "Oh yeah, you want me to, you want me to sound like I'm not from America." Remember when John DiMaggio played the uh, trans robot? <laughs> you couldn't Shoot, afford man, it, honey. Sure yeah, that one. Read. That one's you couldn't afford it, honey. Yet. Yeah, it was like a Hispanic trans <laughs> prostitute, actually. <laughs> I th Hang on, let me look up the name of the robot because I'm pretty sure it's offensive. It is, yeah. It, it's very offensive. <laughs> let me see the name of the robot. Hermaphrobot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's my favorite oh, John DiMaggio that. character is Hermaphrobot. <laughs> uh, um, I remember... Uh, I tweeted him. Um, hey, John DiMaggio, yeah, can, but, you do, you, can you do the Hermaphrobot again? I wrote that character and you really play, made me happy. You play, can you play Earl still? Because Earl's just a robot. There's no, uh, there's no racial implications with that robot. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, where he plays the black robot. And yeah, he talks he like he robot. talks like the character I'm playing right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. Oh man, it's okay. I saw the documentary. It was fine. It's okay if I do it. I'm not racist like those other guys who do it. Well, that he's just, he's just not gonna bring it up. Yeah, I don't really care that much. I just think it's funny as all. <laughs> it, adds, it adds a layer. Well, I had a. I mean? well, there's a there's a script I did where Crispin's involved in like the like stopping the Tuskegee syphilis trial. Like like there's this crazy and and Crispin meets this guy whose family has been plagued by this, and um, Jane LeBron does the voice of the guy and. Um, he was like, how black do you want, like, on a scale, <laughs> like, of 1 to 10, like, what do you, and it's funny to hear the voice he does in that, because he sounds just like Frylock in it, like, like, angry Frylock, and then you hear him on Beavis and Butthead or The Simpson. he's like, hey, everybody, this is how I talk, <laughs> like, some people just have such crazy fucking range. Oh, it's also a director issue, too. Yeah. It is funny that Mike Judge hired him to play the, the, uh, the Burger Burger World guy, and it's like the same design and the same voice. Okay, I'm gonna die now. I want to hear win? what he says. Okay. It's all as frustrating as this talk. car. I'm supposed to protect the visitor center, but I'm not gonna do that.
Shoot, man, I should have been free. What? <laughs> Did you catch a word of that? I couldn't understand a fucking word of it. It was too big crushed. There's something about the car. Shoot, man, I should have been brave. I don't know. Like his car was dirty? I don't know. Hey, hell of a boss fans. Do you ever wonder why Brock Baker's not in the rest of the series? Anyone? Anyone? I found out why. I had Brock Baker in a project. Um, and I thought I thought Brock was a little expensive for, for the amount of time and effort comparatively to other actors I've worked with. And then I saw what, just, just some of the harassment he's dealt with, and I was like, I kind of just want to pay him now. Oh yeah, Even people have been avoid. shitty to Brock Baker forever. Like, just for the impersonations. Really? Like, I don't know about his personal life or anything like that. Uh, but like, granted, no. he feeds it a little bit because when people like make fun of his impersonation, you go, that's not a good impersonation. He goes, yeah, it is. So, you know, <laughs> it's, oh, you can't do is that. He like that? I, but, you know, I don't know. Well, you, to be fair, he's yeah. right that he does, he does good impersonations and the people go, no, nah, I could do a better one. It's like, well, then do it. Why are you complaining to me about it? Why are you coming to a Mickey yeah. Mouse impersonation video to complain about how, how much better you could do a Mickey Mouse than the guy on the video? Make your video. I get that. I think it might, it might just be that he, like, I don't know. He comes across a little smug. He's always been the coolest dude. The only problem I've ever had with him is sometimes it'll be like three days between retakes. I think it's easy and to by then you're smug not off of people who are just confident, right? Oh, totally. For and sure. a lot of people do get a bad rep for it. Oh, I hate that smug son of a bitch. And that guy's like, I, I like my life and I don't want to kill myself. I'm like, oh, that's a piece of <laughs> shit. How dare he? <laughs> he thinks he's so much better than us just because you, you want to kill him, Hugh. Ooh, la -dee da mister. I got mental health. <laughs> My mental health a kid. Yeah. He should have been on more uh, has-been hotel. That's all I'm saying. But he should not be Rick and Morty. He's probably going to end up Rick and Morty. He, he would be a very likely cast. Not for not for vocal talent, but for... Uh, look who we got. Like I, this is the, this is the raw truth, and I, and I hate to say stuff like this because it comes across as like I guess bitter, but yeah. nobody ever really cared about the voice actors. They don't. They just don't. No, that's true. The, that's the, true. the people making the shows, they, it, unless the actor does exactly what they they say, which is what you're supposed to do as an actor. Yeah. But even then, it's like they don't. You're replace. You're super replaceable. Like make not. You're the most replaceable part of any animated project because they could dub over you. That's true. Like retaking the animation, forget about it. Redoing the musical score, that could be really rough. Finding a good musician is really hard. Finding somebody to go, hey, I'm Mr. Bubble Bub, and I like to put dicks in my mouth. Like that, you can find a million people to say that. That's true. Mr. Bubble Bub's um, copyright helmet 2023, by the way. If you steal him, I will fucking sue you. I will sue you so hard that they'll have to write a law called named after you. Helmet law. Oh, yeah. I named after <laughs> you because. Judge is so angry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brian's law. I don't law. know. I oh, Brian's law. We don't talk about Brian's law, but uh, um, have you talked about Solar Opposites? Do you want to talk about it? I think it's worth talking about. Uh, they replaced Roiland with a British guy, and he sounds okay. I wouldn't shit on the well, actor at least. No, no, no. It's I think it's Legion. It's the guy from Legion, and um. He's funny. He's funny. Uh, he has to talk as fast as Royland, though, which makes it sound really... It makes it sound extra funny to me, because Royland is really good at, like, slamming sentences together. Talking really quickly like this, can. yes. Yeah, doing that. To where if you have a very elongated accent, like a really British accent, talking really fast, you can do it, but there's a speed limit. Well, They it, measure his voice in kilometers like per hour, not miles per hour. It causes <laughs> yeah, a big issue. That's true. That's true. Who yeah, knows? Maybe he's just like, audio director, though. Maybe maybe he'll pick up on it. It's not like that uh, guy can't he, learn. No, he's gonna have to dub at least a season and a half of TV. I 
I'll probably that's pick up on it. I, you know, there's stuff that I used to be really bad at that I learned. Like, I had learned how to rap for a thing, and that was a, that was a fucking pain in the ass, let me tell you. I figured it out. It you gotta rhyme. Oh. We should my, listen to the Blondie Rapture song again. All my funny improvisations didn't work so good for that, because I kept, I kept going like... In 1982, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't think of a I fucking like historical fact. I like jumping up and down. I like jumping up and down. I like jumping up and down. In 1984, down. Ronald Reagan released uh, he released all the mental illness patients onto the sidewalks to save money for the U.S. government. I like jumping up and down. <laughs> I like jumping up and down. Why Just a must we kill our own kind? I like eating pixie sticks. <laughs> In 2016, has been hotel actor Brock Baker was replaced. <laughs> <laughs> I want two new voices now. I want two new voices now. Why must we fire our own kind? Oh, well. You know, the, the funny thing is, eventually those animators will get replaced too, and ain't nobody going to cry a tear for them. Yeah, no one... There must be one person who's been animating on The Simpsons for like 35 straight seasons. This like, like learned Al, all not, not animating, but hadn't like Al Jean like just been working on that show forever? Yeah, Al Jean, Mike Reese, uh, David Silverman, like that's kind of the, they're all the same people that have been working on it since the beginning and people always go, all oh, these new writers, oh, the same four people. Same four people trying to make the same show funny for 30 years. Oh God. Well, I mean, I can't might actually hanging around better. somebody for 30 years. I can't hang around people for more than one year. <laughs> In 1989, uh, uh, Tracy Ullman show uh, short called The Simpsons was released. Oh, I'm jumping up and down. I like to thing up and down. <laughs> Do you like them? The guy just love, just love jumping. What if it turned out? that uh the guy who's actually singing in that in those segments there's something wrong with him like he can only say that that's got a name his name is sergey Sir, sergey or sergey sergey they're like Tur well not well i guess uh, you uh not not damn i almost said the wrong thing like the really wrong thing he's from a country <laughs> to where they really hate their neighbors and if you confuse one for the other it's like not good gotcha uh ah god i forgot because I hate him. I like that it's raining only <laughs> three feet ahead of you. Jeez, what's his name? What's the, what's that country's name? America. This is not fair, video game. Whoa. Whoa. How does it do that? I don't know how they programmed so that in there. That, that seems that's so over the yeah. top for what this is. It's like, how did we have How'd you do that? How'd you fuck up all this other stuff? But like, Use, yeah, using the GTX 960 here. What is happening to your car? This game has a lot of really good things about it, but the bouncy physics are a bit much. I like jumping up and down. Expert dominations remembers this on N64. I, I should have played the N64 version maybe, but I know like the PlayStation version has CD quality music. I, I forget why. I just remember hearing a long on a time CD, ago. Stupid. It's on a CD. No, no, obviously that. But like you know, as for like the list of reasons why you'd prefer this one, how the hell am I gonna protect the visitor center? This car's slow as fuck. I don't even know what the visitor senator <laughs> looks like. Wait, wait, did you say senator or center? Center. Oh, yeah, I was, I was thinking like, like we're gonna have lots of cars pulling up, so you gotta keep the visitor center safe. Murdering like all these that. people. Yeah, what the fuck is this? They had to come up with a story. In 2020, uh, in 2020, Justin Roiland committed actions that may or may not have destroyed his career for the rest of his life. I like jumping up and down. <laughs> uh. 
Boy, what a topic. And by remaining non-offensive and unfun, you can create a bland, soulless product that no one can enjoy. Yeah, by taking... Well, we, we've been talking about that with Rick and Morty for a while. We're like... Season 1 had them use the R word, and they even have a line like, Your sensibilities don't have to... We don't have to limit ourselves to your sensibilities. And then by, like, season three, they completely. Like, I'm evil, but, I, uh, you know, you need to calm down on the being mean stuff. Well, it's like, I don't know how to say it without saying overly progressive, but, like, that show had become a lot more palatable for everyone. You know what I mean? A much broader appeal than the, the early stuff where they're doing, like, straight-up scenes out of, like, movies where people are getting abused and they're not doing Mr. Jelly Bean grabbing Morty in a bathroom stall anymore you know they're doing I do like Piss Master I love Piss Master Piss Master was a wonderful character and, and it's not like they're out of steam I mean a TV show can go a good 15 years but it's just a it's a different flavor than what we started with and I feel like they lost a lot of that original DNA like two years in well, here's the problem with comedy. Once you start putting borders around it, it's a lot like playing a video game that you already know how it goes, right? It, yeah. I can complete the jokes before they even say them because it's like that. It's that it has to be formulaic. It has to like adhere to a very strict formula because you're not allowed to make mistakes or hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. So every like better to make a bad joke than one that hurts someone's feelings. Nothing worse than someone yeah. who curse. That's pretty much it. Um, now there's a difference between making a bad joke and pulling a Kramer And that's a <laughs> distinction that's never really addressed too well It's like, well, if you if you accidentally make a tasteless Native American joke That's exactly the same as going to the laugh, at, laugh club or whatever it's called And jumping up and down on the stage and screaming the n-word at people <laughs> I, I, no have, difference. I, have, I have controversial thoughts about the Kramer thing Okay Yeah, that's all You're allowed to have those no, no. Well, the Kramer thing, I think a lot of that came from the frustration that no one was laughing. And if you've ever tried to make people laugh and everyone in the room just fucking hates you, I have often had thoughts about just shouting at the audience like, what the fuck? I'm trying so hard for you. The 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 problem is the joke was really in a horrible place to begin with, and it ended there too. Yeah, like it. I get why nobody. Okay, here's a controversial opinion. I didn't think Kramer was ever funny. <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't watch a lot of Seinfeld. I don't like Seinfeld. It's boring. That's like, fair. It's a show about nothing. It's like yeah, it's <laughs> jokes. <laughs> and it shows. Yeah, I, yeah. Could, I could tell that they didn't think about what they were doing when they wrote this. Ba -da -ba -ba. Kramer walks in the room and he's got like a funny haircut. And he looks strange. He looks like a homeless, well, Kramer, but he's not. Kramer's strange. He's a, he's a bit wacky. God, if only you could get some of those character actors, man, like, uh, who's the guy who plays Bill? That's his name. The guy who plays Bill. And what? I just forget his name and he's in so much shit. Uh, King of the Hill. Oh. Let's see. He's Milton in Office Space, too. He's a character actor. He's really good. Uh, Steven Root. Steven Root's in, uh office space he's the he's the guy in barry that's like setting him up on missions he's the guy in fucking uh get out who's like i don't care what color your skin is i just need a new fresh pair of eyes and you're like oh jesus he's getting everything but like he must even to this day must be like hey office space guy huh red stapler I find that this guy's kind of unfair because he dog. seems to be able to just do his fucking special move forever. <laughs> <laughs> the CPU always, always knows what it needs. In vehicular combat games, yeah, it kind of, it, it tends to almost yeah. always give the enemies infinite ammo. Which, as you can imagine, is slightly uh, annoying when you, look at him, he's just so going, he's like, eh, eh. Shoot, man, I should have been real. What? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> Sir, your accent. <laughs> your accent seems to be 10 kilohertz.
You want to see me play like Mortal Kombat? Uh, I'll do Mortal Kombat. I played Mortal Kombat before. I like Mortal Kombat. It's a little chunky, but uh, you know, it's kind of it, it, uh, it. A lot of the game is about setting up a combo, then completing it instead of like you know going in and doing regular attacks and you know basically you're you just set up to do gigantic ass combos for the most part okay and if you can't do the big ass combos well too fucking bad you're gonna have a bad time playing sorry that's true there is a mode on the pc one i had i think i'm Mortal combat x maybe at 11 but like if you if you mash the buttons it punishes you and there's a there's a setting you can tick that if you accidentally hit down right instead of down it won't disable the combo right like God. it had very like like you had to push the button combos in like like you were like a nerd at a computer <laughs> i have to code this perfectly yeah i never liked that about fighting games i always thought that was a that was a crutch street the new street fighter took away that and has like a regular like not newbie friendly control system but like hey maybe you don't have to like do a pretzel memorize motion books. yeah and memorize memorize yeah like button combos for literally every character just so you can try a different character that might suit you better right people are angry at that i'm like why are you angry at that it's like well i learned all the combos oh. and i like to learn that and then they they get to do it for nothing it hardly seems fair to me thing. that's the whole thing about playing video game my nephew plays that one of the dragon ball games and um, whenever he wants to play, he like has three characters that go against me as one guy. Cause he's like, well, I know the combos for all these characters. And if I can, if I can, uh... no, that's wrong. I'm sorry. He knows the combo for every character in the game. I have to play as three different guys that he will beat the shit out of consecutively. One, two, three. And even then I'm still not a match for him. Cause he's just that good at the button combos. Yep. And I, it's just, it's one of those things that like, it's hard, as much as I like hanging out and playing games, it's hard for me to play those games with him because there's, uh, there's just people out there who know all those button combos. There's there are no online versions of this. Like I can that. invite you to play this with me. The reason why I, that I don't is that if I actually started to play this competitive against a person who doesn't have unlimited ammo, I'd wipe yeah. the fucking floor with you. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Not because I'm just that good. It's just because I've, I've played the thing. I've, I've like spent right, time got... on it. I remember it. Well, that's a that's another thing is uh it's not it's like asking such such me like so hey hell but why don't you animate a character walk cycle and be like oh that might take me a few weeks you're like really it took me five minutes yeah exactly i've only been doing it since i was 15. It's like, what are you stupid do you not understand basic concepts it, and that's I guess unfortunately that's the, the attitude a lot of people have with that stuff it's like oh what yeah, you don't you don't know how to do the triple pretzel motion <laughs> uh well new huh not even like, like little new, more like, uh, wow, you sh you're stupid. You should. I immediately did it my first time. I've always been exactly this good too. Hi, <laughs> mustache ham. What's going on? Just ask mother. Just ask mother how good I am. Good to oh, see you, mustache ham. Oh, at the film festival yesterday, uh, uh, there was a David, a David, a David Firth video, and uh, it's called Cream. And I looked, and it was actually a short from 2016. I don't know how it got entered into the thing. I don't know if they picked it out and asked him. But I like, I like, I was happy David Firth video was in with it, and uh, in a two-hour block, so there were only like eight things. So I'm up with David Firth on the screen, and that's cool. But like. That video has the R word and it mentions like HIV and it's like, it was weird seeing a 2023 audience man, take like, that in. I, I used to watch Burnt Toast, man. Now that, that's a cartoon with a lot of swears in it. It just like, like just does not fall on the audience the same way. Okay, this is this bad guy is bastard, man. And he calls him a burnt shit gay face. Yeah. I'm just thinking about that. Wait, wait, so it's 2023 now. So that came out in 2016, that video. And I'm just thinking about it in 2016. That was so long ago. I, I'm so different of a person from when I was making shit in 2016. I'm not. I'm just as awful as I always was. 
I know, but you didn't have to like restructure and stop making frog cartoons. You, you uh... This is true. I just, I just kept re they just kept emailing me scripts. I'm like, okay, and I just read the letters in the mouth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never wanted to do the, the fucking uh, what do they call it? Uh, convention circuit for a lot of reasons, but mainly yeah. be it's because I don't have a coke habit. Okay. They conventions use, they are, use conventions are, oh. to score easy drugs. <laughs> Nobody talks oh, about I wasn't it. Think, I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking when you said conventions like uh, festivals, but like... No, uh, you're talking about people different. who want to sell autographs and shit. Yeah. Not, yeah, I'm talking about... Uh, yeah, yeah, selling autographs. We'll just call it that. Yeah, well... That can't be true what you just said. Man, there's so much bad stuff that happens at conventions. <laughs> Do you remember the guys who like clogged every toilet during the furry convention and like destroyed the hotel? So yeah, they and, they, and they're, they were there to convention. celebrate. They're part of the people that like this That's friendly awesome. fire. They, they clogged, they clogged up the hot tub. There was soiled diapers just left like laying around in the parking lot. Oh, I thought, I thought they were sabotaged. No, it was, well, some of them get sabotaged, but like most of them, oh, it's not even sabotaged. It's just the people that go there. They're just like deranged <laughs> fuck ups. And you know, the furry community hates them too, I'm sure. I doubt they like, you know, own those people. It's like, yeah, they're one of ours. You know, I'm sure they're like, no, we hate those fucking guys. But you know, they go there and they're like, yeah, so I took my shitty diapers and I just laid them all over the parking lot because, you know, that gets my dick hard. And, uh, yeah, that was a good, a real good convention, guys. See you next year. And they're like, ban him. He's, he just comes next year in a different suit. Like, yeah. no, I'm Scruffles. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur, yeah. <laughs> why, why can't oh. we ID this jerk? <laughs> He's got an ID with the fucking furry head on it. I've got 18 <laughs> different costumes, you fuckers. I will be peeing in every hot tub. Oh, they're also taking the smoke detectors out of the, uh, out of the, uh, hotel rooms and, like, uh, you know, because they wanted to smoke weed. Yeah. This <laughs> is funny. You're one of the smoke I have never now. set a, I've, put it back, I've never set off a, I've never set off a smoke detector while smoking weed. I saw another one they had. Me neither. They also, yeah, he hasn't smoked a lot. I guess she had to hot box out the whole hotel room, but uh, <laughs> they also had to destroy the fabric. Yeah. They had to put a warning up on the uh, elevator button. It's like, do not press the elevator button with your foot because so many of the furry people were like kicking the buttons with their feet. <laughs> so you know, I, I think it would have just been hilarious. The house wins. Wait. Yeah. Oh, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like he's in a fursuit. The house wins. Just imagine being the guy who's like, Haha, I'm going to kick it too. And you kick it and then like you hear the cable snap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you hear that like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we interviewed the actor who played the, the only black character and he had this to say. Well, I'm talking about time. I know. I really wasn't meant it, didn't mean it that way. Oh, here the resolution got better. <laughs> what? That that effect was so unnecessary. I didn't meet the objective, but I kind of. Oh no! Yeah, they destroyed the visitor center and. What do I get for like doing that though? Hold on. I like the idea of taking the smoke alarm out. Smoke alarms, by the way, are uh, battery operated. They're very rarely hooked to the power grid. Um, hey, here's one custom soundtrack. The PlayStation version of the game stores the soundtrack as CD audio files. You can abuse this feature to load your, load your own soundtrack from any CD. As soon as you load into a level, pause the game, open the CD tray, then insert any audio CD you want. Close the tray and the uh, game will load the CD tracks as the game soundtrack. You can even use long song skip feature and any track you want. Note, when you finish a level, the game will fail loading the next area until you reinsert the disc. But you can do the trick <laughs> again. <laughs> I was going to say, that would probably corrupt the whole game by that point. I feel like I it's remember, asking you to uh, destroy your hardware. <laughs> Sonic Robo Blast 2, when I was like, I think that game, I, I first played that when I was like 9, 10. But it's Doom, and um, if you... It actually has a thing that if you put a disc into it and you say, you know, play track one, it'll play the track on whatever CD's inserted into the computer. Doom will do that too. 
It's not very high tech, actually. Yeah, we're I guess a we lot should be some fortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Screening just finna like this. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in the TV. Kazuzu says, uh, also in the game, you can use the first game disc to play the levels from the first game and the second game. You know, I wonder how many cool. games you can, I wonder how many games you can do that with. Anything with a similar engine, I bet. Well, yeah, this runs off the same engine, so that makes sense. It would be cool if you could, like, I'm just trying to think of a game you could do that with. <laughs> you just, you just pop the disc out, and then you put, like... Did you do that with Crash? I bet you could do that with Crash. Oh, I see. So look, you gotta like play the two characters and complete their objectives to unlock the blibber blop. And once you unlock the yeah. blibber blop, you get the shibbity dupe. Oh, cool. There's another baby. He's gone tomorrow. weird to me that people are buying uh i guess I, this shouldn't be that weird i'm i i typed in crash bandicoot disc swap and they were showing how to do the how to run like burnt roms onto a playstation and this dude's got like a 4k samsung and he's playing crash bandicoot in like 360p huh. but i'm just thinking like you don't need a tv that good to just, just play the emulator it's okay Oh shoot, there's a, there's a code to just watch all the character endings. I'm gonna put that in real quick. Unlocked everything, but let's uh let's just watch the cutscenes and enjoy them. That'll be I fun. I have we, to pee, Elvin. Well, don't worry. By the time you're done peeing, I'll have the password entered. And <laughs> all the cutscenes will be over. Well, let me know when you get back. Who's my favorite Mortal Kombat character? Ah, Johnny Cage. He's overall fun to play. Usually not too low tier, but he, not always at the tippity top. He's got some good moves. Either that or Raiden, because I like to teleport. A lot of Sista A. Chelsea wants air who's, fried cheese curds. Ooh. Who's the Who's the Frozone character in Mortal Kombat? I like him. Sub Zero. Sub Zero, yeah, I like him. There's a lady one too. She's called Frost, which is very creative. Oh, cause cold. We well, should make a Hellbent but... Mortal Kombat mod. Put and watch all movies. And I ain't got nothing. Wait, maybe it's the Elmo. Did I just do it wrong? Hold on. <laughs> Hi, Sister A. Mustache Ham is right. The curly fries are good. Why do they have to be curly to be seasoned? Oh, I disliked them.
What's happening to Jonah Hill? <laughs> what? I thought that was a sandwich. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Why? Yeah, this is more silly than scary. Everything's so plastic. Oh, and then he gets, then he gets, yeah, sex traffic to, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> The fuck? Oh, oh, it's a wrist. I thought she's gonna. <laughs> crazy ending. That's kind of scary. Yeah, I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> we can't do fluid physics. Gas parade. That's a great name for a gas station. God, these are trippy to look at. Cheap gas is back. <laughs> Oh, because the seventies. You know that that reference would that that billboard back there would hit a lot harder if we were older. <laughs> what? Wait, why are you walking? Keep gases back. <laughs> Didn't you hear the news? How is he behind you now? That yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I needed to loop around. <laughs> this is a small road. <laughs> it just goes in a perfect circle. Well, yeah, it's a, it's just a regular level, so it wasn't very far. Oh yeah, I got this one. Cause what's your name takes the bracelet <laughs> off, and this guy's like, "Whoa, cool, free bracelet." I thought it was a magazine. I thought this would be like the movie Go for some reason. Oh yeah, no, you're mistaken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, none of this actually <laughs> lines up in any way. <laughs> I love the music I just though. Picture, I I just picture like each character holding a Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, why not? I often I often close my eyes while driving and think of that too. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> these these cutscenes are ridiculous. I love it, but yeah, what? So he got pulled over? They're, uh, they're, yeah, they're written by someone who's never written cutscenes. It's just like, hey, wouldn't it be crazy? And then she gets a movie. <laughs> like, some of these are part of a story, then the other ones have nothing to do with shit. <laughs> look at his look at his arms. Love this. Okay, I see. I, I, I do love yeah. this game. It, it controls funny and all that, but Shoot, there's enough time. I might have to boot up the second one while we're here. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, that would be a good Christmas fit. <laughs> you have both crash Haley's just horribly alive. burned. He doesn't have lips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's funny. Did I did I tell you about my Chris Roswell idea? Well, you had to like tell Chrisman... me after this cool story. Okay. okay, sorry. There's no voice acting. <laughs> I didn't think it would matter. Yeah, but there's art. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. No, B. He drove those all the way out there. That's it. Hold on. Is there a sand factory cutscene? I don't know where he. Oh. Oh. I guess that's it. I gotta skip through them all now. All right. Well, let me know when I can tell my Christmas idea. 
I'm gonna highlight the alien and see that does something different. Hope you're good. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. There's no Roswell one in particular, but but Paul came up with this really funny idea about Chrisman. Chrisman gets a. God, what was it? He gets the flu. And he's like really, he's really fucked up on medicine. And they're like, you need to go to the help the president right away. And Crispin goes, get me your most expensive aircraft. And it cuts to him flying over Roswell. And then, uh, there's a bee in the, in the, in the plane. And he goes, better put on my protective suit. And he puts on a big gimp suit. Like, Bzzz. and then he crashes straight down and they think he's the alien. That's fun. I like the idea of Crispin wearing a big leather suit and like coming out of the plane crash. But it, there's something even funnier about a dude losing his face and then they're like it's an alien. Yeah, he, he finds the spaceship. He's like, whoa, and then he crashes it and it's like alien found. That's great. <laughs> Let's show off the flying saucer. Let the begin. I remember the flying saucer. I remember that from this game. Because I remember having a kid neighbor who played this. And I remember the flying saucer being unlockable. Could have been a different game. Lots Actually, it could have. Rogue Trip also has an unlockable flying saucer. That's a cool flying saucer. That's actually accurate to what the first description of a flying saucer looks like. Looks like an Apple product. The, app, the Apple fucking air conditioner i guess yeah guess what it controls but, like shit yeah but this is really good vegas music Banana -nana, banana -nana. that's what i think of when i go to vegas you know what i always think of when i'm in vegas is i think of uh the red hot chili pepper roller coaster i was thinking of that from vegas, but say what roller coaster yeah, this is this game came out during that weird 90s period of Austin Powers and like, ooh, the 70s. Remember the 70s? We're not quite ready for 80s nostalgia yet, but we're getting there. I guess you're right. There's a lot of 70s nostalgia in the 90s. Yep. Bell bottom pants oh, yeah. at Old Navy. Uh, lots of bell bottoms in the 90s. Heroin. So, so the, uh, heroin. does that mean in the 50s they were thinking about the 30s the whole time like oh the 30s probably probably more like the roaring 20s a bit in the 50s like ah like, oh, bond bill ah oh, the stage ah uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the, the glitz the glamour ah. glamour yeah oh and cowboy stuff so they're probably thinking like 1910s i guess that's weird huh you think that you think it's cowboy weird. movies were a product of nostalgia I don't know. I, I do love that the that cowboy, like the old west, was about five years in history. Like the old west kind of came and went, and they've just been like, ah, the old west, as seen in uh, for hundreds of years. Spaceship's not fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, like all the weapons are really. Fucking weird with it. It's fast though. Give it that. I would like to see this remade. Like, this is like an Unreal thing or a or a Unity remake. Oh, they, that's but, like, the, that's the best part, Brian. Different. They did. It's Vigilante Arcade yeah. for the Xbox 360. That was the remake. Did it suck? Uh, it was okay, but it was really weird. Like, it was anemic. I guess is the best way to put it. It's what like does that it was, mean? There's like no yeah. real story mode. It was just online. Okay. So it's just versus with most of the cars and there's like only a few levels, like not a whole lot of levels. Gotcha. And, and like not a lot of sound either. <laughs> Mustache Ham says, what would the electric guitar invented in the thirties? Probably uh, the, uh, the theremin was invented in like the twenties. I was looking into the theremin lately. Yeah, crack was invented in the nineties. That's not true. Crack was invented in the 90s. 
<laughs> what are they doing with them in the 80s though? And, and AIDS. <laughs> oh, they, oh yeah, wait a minute. Damn AIDS it. is the 80s. They're both the 80s. I don't know my crack and AIDS more. <laughs> It really showed up around the same time. Weird, right? <laughs> I don't think they're connected. I just, they showed up at the same time. Yeah, I'm just saying it's weird. I'm not saying that there's a real connection. It's saying <laughs> funny. Not that we have anything horrible to say, but uh, the most John seductive drug taking... and the most deadly sexually transmitted disease both hit the scene the same year. You think they have the same <laughs> agent? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think, John? Yeah, agent. Oh, well, walk, <laughs> walk, walk. <laughs> Walk, walk. <laughs> the broadcast just cuts out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zerna must be down. <laughs> I come back next week. I'm addicted to crack and AIDS. You're addicted to AIDS? Yep, I got a full blown addiction. You're Can't gonna have to face it. You're addicted to AIDS. <laughs> I hadn't heard that ZZ Top song. Who sings you're addicted to love? Pretty sure it's ZZ Top. It sounds like ZZ could... Top. <laughs> Wait, no, no, you're thinking, I'm thinking of a different song. No, you're addicted to love. Yeah, my. You're, you're singing like every man, every girl's crazy for a sharp dressed man. You sung it wrong. <laughs> you know what the fucking song Bony, is. <laughs> wear a scarf. Or maybe you I'm just going crazy because I'm hearing how songs sound like other songs and it's like making me I, angry. I, uh. Robert Palmer? Sure. Oh, I like want to look Palmer. up who wrote a song and then I get like the people who did the cover of it in the 2000s and like hide the actual artist. For I hate, reason. yeah, I know. I know. And then you look in the actual artist. There's nothing wrong. They just. No, they just they like just bumped him down off Google. Forgot. Yeah. And it, Google really does control how we think in terms of like. You, you really, you really do censor stuff. I'm not saying that we should be allowed to go on the flat earth websites all the time, but I like going on them and seeing iPhone panoramas where people are like, see, it would be curved if the world was round. <laughs> it's like you obviously have not taken a second panorama on your phone, dude. I think every psycho person should be allowed to have a website as long as it's like literally not harmful. But if it's just somebody like saying stupid shit. I don't see the problem. Like, why would you want to? If you suppress those people, then they like go and hide, and now now you can't see them. You know what I mean? And they're festering. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you create a whole different issue. Well, um, one thing that I noticed about the internet is we used to have these things called websites, where like you would go to someone's website where you wanted to learn shit, and now it's like you got YouTube, you got TikTok. Don't worry, Brian. I'm booting up another game. Yeah, cool. And YouTube, where like, uh, it's very, very, uh, you just reconvene on these websites. I did go on Stormfront to see where the, the, You're not to all the that hate. One. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just. Sorry. <laughs> There's a slam. Hey, would you believe it, Brian? There's certain people that don't like them. Well, no, no one likes them. I just think it's funny that white people are doing slam poetry. Of course. About, like, how they can fix all these other problems that they perceive. Sorry, Helva, that was... That no, was no, no, you're right. Well, I, I, I've been doing this for so long, I've just seen what, like, people get, like, banned for or whatever. I'm like, oh, God. Okay. Well, I won't press on it. I just... I always think... Um, I like to push I it, think, but I do you the favor yeah. of letting you know. This isn't me like. Well, thank you. Thank I'm you not for talking letting down me know. to you like I'm better than you. I'm uh, even though my tip jar, it, my my jar is full of tips and yours has zero in it. Mine has pickle juice in it. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Did brine. a new Beavis and Butthead come out? <laughs> I am soaked in brine. I think it did. Also, unicorns, warrior Ooh. eternal. Luxo flux. Big T says pickle brine. Yeah, pickle brine. Pickle brine. Yeah, pickle brine. I like that. Hey, that 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 relationship. I, I don't like this. This looks <laughs> a lot better. 
Jesus, help there's, there's, two, there's two reasons why people would hate that. One of them's okay, one of them's fucked up. Meet George Jetson. Meet <laughs> George Jetson. This is this Topian <laughs> Jetsons. <laughs> the world is fucked. <laughs> Jane, his wife. <laughs> no comment. No more. God, <laughs> I already went too far. <laughs> this looks like one of those mind's eye videos. Oh my God, they love the 70s. This looks better than a mind's eyes video, but I get what you're saying. I disagree. The, uh, the, the geometry on the landscape is does look amazing. The uh, the people look really funky. This looks like reboot. This does look like reboot. They didn't know to draw people all cartoony for quite a while. It took Pixar to for them to be like. Like how even Pixar, the cutscene characters are low poly. <laughs> yeah. They got the, the smooth tool on a little too high. Whoa. <laughs> Mustache man says, Jane, stop this crazy thing. Edgelord Shadow asks, what happened to Joe Ben? It's been a minute. I then programmed him into this new thing. Um, I'll do Brivus for a little bit. Yeah. Is Brivus the one that, is he not facing the camera? Because if, if that's true, that's awesome. There we go. Yeah, he, Brian likes to have his one character face the correct way, then the other ones he just has him looking away from the screen for some reason. Are they? Uh, I I make these oh, as little half-assed jokes. Oh, you don't have to flip it back, dude, because I'm going to change it to something else eventually. I want to play. This looks better. I want to play. Uh, I, I always see like videos of it. Uh, what is it? Jumping Flash, Jumping Jack, Jumping Jack Rabbit on PlayStation. You mean Jumping Which Flash? Jumping Flash. Okay, you, I got you, you, keep call, you keep saying the word, the name Jack. It's like Jack, Jack the Jack, the Jerky Jack, well, no, and like it's Jumping jump, Flash. Jumping, jumping Jack Flash is a Rolling Stone song. But it's not a video game. No, but they just took the word Jack out of it. Jumping Flash? I wish Jumping I could Flash, jump Flash, it's from Japan. There's no way it's not a reference to the Rolling Stones. They're like, oh, Rolling Stones are great. <laughs> That's really bad for the suspension when you drop the, the all vehicle though, all those times. Yeah. Oh man, this is getting weird. I like it. Yeah, yeah, this one's way better. I like Metal Cowboy. He's my favorite Did I just out of see this a one. Plan? That there is kind of. They brought back That's the cool. levels from the first one. I remember sneaking onto a water slide, where like you had to be like thirteen to be on it, and I was like eleven. And the guy's like, "Hey, are you thirteen? And I said. Yeah! Anyway, awesome, get on. I could have died. And you should that have. water slide was so dangerous. I just realized since it's 2023 now, I can convince people yeah. that this was made in the 70s. Yeah, no one knew what video games looked like back in the 70s. Yeah, I can convince a zoomer type who only knows like Xbox 360. It's like, yeah, this was released in 1972. <laughs> That's why it looks like this. The See, oh, that's why the graphics look all old. Like, yep. Yep. Different time. Boy, this, this looks remarkably better. I really want to watch. Uh, I really want to watch that uh, that Muppet Show, the new one where it's like just the band. And the whole plot is that they're doing a VH1 about them making music. And they're like, we made all these albums, and like, you've never made a single album, and you've been together since 1971. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, uh, the electric premise. slide or whatever. The, yeah, the electric mayhem, yeah. But there's a, there's a, there's a joke 
back in it where they're in the van and uh the lady behind him goes remember the doctor said no headbanging anymore it's really bad for your spine and then they they turn the song to master of puppets and they look right at the camera <laughs> master they try of puppets. not to <laughs> yeah, and they try not to headbang the Master of Puppets. I guess, yeah, I also like the Master <laughs> of Puppets with the puppets, the Muppets. It's yeah, brilliant. that's like two jokes in there. It made me happy. Oh, I was supposed to collect the fucking bombs. I didn't do it. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Oops. Or is it just gonna let me do it now that guy's dead? Okay. I do. I do like that it's rendering the textures all fucked up. It's like there, there's that one little bit of LOD. Oh no, it won't. Yeah. Oh, you won. Right off the edge. Now I gotta go back and do the objective. No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'll just enter in cheat codes to watch the endings. It'll be fine. <laughs> Look, <Like>, why bother? <laughs> Those cutscenes for the last one were. Go ahead, say it. I don't like the objectives. I just like to kill the enemies. You know. But but it said you won, so it's just I, killing them like progression. I gotta. I gotta like destroy i think in this one i got to destroy the ski lodge and then i got to collect the four briefcases and then i got to get right. all 64 stars before going to bowser's castle <laughs> i was gonna say what if you got what if you went behind the snow lodge and gex was there on a snowboard yeah, i guess i'd be mildly excited for that <laughs> I'm glad look, look at that tech though the, the like train deformation yeah. on the fucking playstation one that's insane to me i've I've done that using video game designing software, and even that was like, I don't want to do it. God damn. Uh. I have to walk to work in the snow. A long day. Me and my snow. God, so I interviewed Pat yesterday, Pat Cashman. And to the audience, he's the guy who did the announcements in Brawl. Mario, what's that guy? And I interviewed him about being uh, in my movie, and I interviewed him about paranormal stuff. And he wouldn't stop being funny for like 20 minutes. It was like obnoxious how many jokes he could do. And not only jokes, but like good ones. I was like, have you ever had any paranormal encounters? And he goes... Have I ever had any paranormal encounters? And then he just turns to his side and goes, Larry, have I ever had any paranormal encounters? I'm like, fuck. That's pretty that's good. That's so awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah. Well, just... did you know he was serious? Oh, God. Yeah, he's 70 and he's sharp as attack, man. That's so awesome. Those old people pills, I tell you. Dude, I, well, no, so I... Uh... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I know, I know. But uh, so we go to the thing, and there's a car next to me. And it's a nice little SUV. And uh, a lady gets out of the SUV, and she looks at me. And she, she she's looking at me for a minute, right? Like as I'm grabbing my gear. And she goes, hi. And I'm fine. I'm fine. I got my gear. I'm like, hi. She's like, I'm Pat Cashman's wife. Do you want me to carry anything for you? And I'm like, no, just... You guys are so infectiously nice, stop it. Obviously a trap, Brian. You should, like, turn I... on them. <laughs> yeah. You're really angry people, at them. People, I don't know if they wanted money or maybe something more sexual, but... You were That's abused. Like... They were trying That's to like... train you to be their slave by they being were... nice. I was being groomed into being their servant. Yeah, every nice thing that you did was actually an act of malice. God. God, they were so supportive. I uh, I should have invited family to the thing, but, like, that was really cool to have them there. It was a good time. So, anyways, this is more the same, but now you can, like, get skis on your car. The... Oh, yeah, this is much better than the original. Wow. Oh, I got all the items. <laughs> oh, um, I thought it said objectives are met, and I looked, it said objective A met. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I got more stuff to do, sadly. I think, anyways, I don't know. I think I got everything. Does it tell me? 
There we go. Oops. Oh, I can change the track. Noodles, Noodles says, uh, Cave Johnson here. Some of the boys at the lab have raised concerns about using a window rated for 1,300 feet on a submersible instead of the usual 4,000. I say go hire an interior decorator if you're worried about windows. I had the two camps for good. like, there's a camp that actually has funny jokes that would constantly do edgy stuff. Then there's the people yeah. who are like, I'm actually one of those sensitive people that complains about edgy jokes, but now it's, since it's a rich person, I get to be edgy and I'm going to go way overboard I, with this one. I have seen, I have seen nobody give a single fuck for somebody who, who died of the fucking pressure of the water crushing him to death. You know what I mean? Yeah. And one of them, one of them was the son of a guy. He wasn't, he, you know, he's like, yeah, he wasn't even old enough to have done anything evil yet. He was just born that way. It, it actually, it actually makes me sick. The, uh, it makes me just very upset to see some of those people just and fuck the rich right like like i'm on team fuck the rich but and i'm on team they signed a waiver and they knew what they were signing up for and team like the guy piloting the thing was the ceo of the company and it's his fault so he doomed himself and the other people right but like all of them though died. like the Let's passengers just... like, what yeah they but do? it's so crazy how many people lately have been like, let's not, let's not make fun of uh, anything untoward, guys. All those people are suddenly, it's open season. Yeah, you can drop a hand grenade on a Russian with a drone and watch his brains fucking explode. Be like, yay! <laughs> yay! And then like submarine guys, like, yay! Yeah, yay! And then like, uh, anything else, anything else that doesn't involve their enemies dying, it's like, hey, you need to stop right now. The same people that think that uh, every homeless person in the world is actually just a misunderstood little person angel who's down on their luck. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a good one like a, a, a meth addict like holds a knife to some lady's neck and threatens to kill her if he doesn't get fifty bucks, and the cops shoot him. They're like, they could have, they could have done a lot of different things there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then they see like but the millionaire dying. It's like, yay! Oh, I hope it was painful. No, they, that's that's just horrible. Too bad, uh, the worst one I saw was like, too bad it was an explosive implosion instead of them suffocating over days. Man. Jesus. Well, and these are the same people that you remember, you probably don't remember this because this was news that was tuned to me, but it was like, there was a transcript of Donald Trump calling a, a, a soldier's, you know, widow. And he's like, hey, he knew what he signed up for. And people were going, this man makes me fucking sick that he would dare say that the soldier knew what he signed up for. And then uh, as soon as the submarine shit happened, people are like, hey, he knew what he signed up for. Yeah, Come yeah, on wait, now. When does, when it, it's only bad. It, it's only, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, oh. you signed up for that. I guess it's like Brandon. less admirable to like go underwater than it is to fight in a war, I suppose, but. Brandon's chat message is uh, really fair. Can I hear a good George Floyd joke? Well, we don't, we don't, we don't make fun of people who are, you know, who who got hurt, unless they're rich. Yeah. Well, if George Floyd was a billionaire. That would be the funniest fucking thing that ever happened. I can tell you That's that. True. If George Floyd had a billion dollars, that would have been hilarious. But I he doesn't, like George... so it's not funny. Look, if I can't talk about Stormfront, maybe we should. I'm, I'm gonna oh, stop yeah, no, talking about George Floyd. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not you gonna, should. Like, I'll, I'll uh, tell you, it's a horrible idea, and you'll only make enemies. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to stop at the George Floyd comment. Yeah, well, I have I, no, you're the one who brought it up, no not me. That. I just thought it was a, it was a good comment. I absolved myself, but I, I agree. The the thing about George Floyd is that he didn't have a lot of money. No, no. <laughs> nope, not talking about George. Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> or how much money he has. Um. <laughs> I have this problem where uh, I think the joke ends as soon as you say George Floyd <laughs> and I don't mean to start a dialogue about it I just think it's funny that someone's someone's like in the line right here is George Floyd pretty much uh, you know it's yeah. a hot it's a there's the Rodney King incident you know and there and people were righteously angry right yeah 
But I gotta admit, if I saw a millionaire doing the same thing and getting beat shit beat out of him, I would think it was funny. Yeah. Um God, Scott came to Seattle because of the LA riots. It was like right around the time they were moving. Brian, if I saw and, like uh, if I saw like ninety cops surrounding Bill Gates and beating the shit out of him and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit. <laughs> Despite my Steve opinions, Jobs right? Getting, like, yeah. Eight traffic tickets. Yeah. Steve Jobs getting fucking tased and they're laughing at him and like making him do embarrassing stuff and like super bad stuff. <laughs> they're strip searching Steve Jobs. Yeah. And, oh, I found a lump in here. <laughs> Poor Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is a smart guy. He knew not to use uh, traditional cures for his diseases, he used alternative medicine. You know what I learned from the drunken peasants is they call it alternative medicine because it's an alternative to medicine. If, they, if it was medicine, they would call it medicine. Yeah, they would just call it science, wouldn't they? Oh, man. That's true. It's like alternative facts. Um, the LA riots, There's there was footage of it. Uh, I love that obscure media subreddit. There's always something interesting there, and they had... A guy who basically ran around town like it was the movie uh, Cloverfield. <laughs> like, and look over here, what's on fire? And look over here. And, oh, um, yeah. We were in the, I didn't we're realize in the that's anybody can left. be a documentarian. Yeah, well, that that was the 90s, right? Like, Scott left just in time, uh, just thinking that LA was overpriced and awful. And he worked on, I think, the Joan Rivers show. And what else did he work on? He and a bunch of those almost live guys all kind of got a ticket to, to LA to work on stuff. Uh, he cut promos for like early Simpsons. And, um, Scott's a cool dude. He ended up working on uh, Penn and Teller's bullshit. And he did the circumcision episode where Penn starts the episode going, one of these three people will show you their, uh, <laughs> their recently decircumcised penis. And it's like three later, it's like two ladies and a dude. And Penn's like, I'm not going to tell you which one of them it's going to be. <laughs> this is a good episode. Scott got nominated for some kind of award for that. The funny award for hilarious dudes. That's pretty cool. He also interviewed that guy in, uh, I think it's Ontario who did the, uh, he buried like 10 school buses and, and surrounded them with concrete to create his, uh, his bomb shelter for when the world ends in 2012. I just realized you could call a little neat habitat a mom shelter. That's true. I'm going little to my mom shelter. shelter. I built a mom shelter for what? For my animes mostly. <laughs> mom I got like to get on my Discord calls. A, a mom shelter sounds like a place that only you and mom are going to stay at. Like, yeah. I can name other figures who would build a mom shelter, but I, I dread, dread the thought perish the thought you know if chris oh, yeah. were a billionaire it'd be really funny that would be funny <laughs> yeah you know what you're right though you know, yeah, i guess i kind of get being, it anyone being <laughs> no, a billionaire I'm around i was gonna say everyone becoming a billionaire is funny to me these missiles do no fucking damage what was the point of putting these in the game <laughs> if dark side phil became a billionaire it would be really funny Man, that pissed so many people off. <laughs> if you won the That's lottery. <laughs> I've only oh, ever bought one ticket. If the lottery were rigged, that, that is one person I would rig it for. We like, and the next winner of the Powerball is uh, Philip Burnell. <laughs> $38 million. And just watch people fucking lose it their would, goddamn minds. Oh. No, he it, doesn't it, deserve it. Oh, and, ah, it, and it would be ah, all gone. Ah. It would just be all gone in a week too. That's the I, love, I love the concept of like some some people deserve to be rich. It's like no, no one deserves to be rich really. Well, that's that's from uh, that's from like the New Testament era. That's yeah, actually like from, religious like, shit. You're era. right. It's like God well, chooses you, his rich. Well, there was a thing about like if Trump was a draft dodger and people are going, well, first of all, he definitely was a draft dodger. Secondly, it's okay because God doesn't want rich people to go to war. And it's yeah. like, oh, come on now. It's, yeah, God, God chooses to make sure that the people who are important don't get killed at the war. And then if it's like Actually, that, then you should go to the war because God's going to make sure you don't get shot. That's true. 
If you're you gonna get that. to heaven, by the way, if you're gonna get to heaven faster, I, I know a trick. Don't put seatbelts on cars. People get weird about that God stuff, and uh, both ways. I've never really, yeah, I was gonna say I've never really found a solid, like, sol I can't talk today, a solid grasp on like where I think God is. Every once in a while, I think of him. I think of my family in heaven, or I think of such and such. And then the rest of the time, I don't. But like, people really think God's on their team, whoever it is. Well, if you didn't think God was on your team, you wouldn't like him, would you? <laughs> exactly. Well, it's main character syndrome. It reminds it's me like, of, uh, and this is something I brought up yesterday. Yeah. I don't mind atheist or religious people. I like both of them, but, uh, you hate zealots. I don't like it when a Christian just starts bringing up Christian stuff for no good reason, but I also don't like the, the, the atheist who like you know nobody mentioned religion nobody said a single thing about god or christ and like you know what else is yep. fucked up it's christianity oh yeah yeah it's like oh you got I, uh, <laughs> your low hit your easy target that won't fight back you sure you sure got him again i had a friend who's transgender and would always say that i don't like bringing i don't like talking about it i don't like bringing it up i don't like that confrontation and at some point unrelated we talked about like i don't like when someone asks me if i'm a christian i just say oh yeah because uh it's easier it's easier because it's not it's i think it's offensive to ask someone their religion and then start criticizing it fucking, yeah 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 i was a drunken peasants guy like i loved that stuff back in the day but you realize that it's the easiest fights. way to create frick you're picking fights no matter what and it puts you in a very uh like you and i can have fights about anything because we're we're we have discussions we have discussions even, and then we don't agree on shit and we still like each other even when we raise our voices at each other there's always that coy like you know like i don't hate you i'm just gonna yell at you like i hate you though because i'm i believe that much in whatever bullshit i'm talking about but ne never yeah. like, never like, oh man, I hope Brian gets mugged on the way to work today. If he got in a car accident, that would just be the funniest thing ever, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, but you and I also like, it's like when a, when a, when a guy in his 60s or older sits down in a park bench next to me and starts asking if I know about the Lord, I'm like, oh yes. And then I'll make up a church I go to because I don't want, he's like, well, never, I haven't seen you at that one. You know, because I, but it's one of those things. I don't, I don't want to have that discussion of no. I I had a very religious boss and he would talk shit about anyone who you know. Oh, you believe in dinosaurs, huh? You know, just whatever the paper says, right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. why why go that? And then my friend who is trans would always say like, well, you should be very bold about your religion, you know, because you you shouldn't put up with anyone's abuse. And I'm like, well, you're the one telling me not to, you know, don't bring stuff up because it'll start fights. Except when you I should. Think, except when you should, because I feel like it. Yeah, I just never. Sometimes I want to fight. Sometimes I don't. But when I want to fight, it's always the right time. Right. When I want to do it, I'm being a bad friend. Anyway. Yeah. I don't like when people people that's because that's just picking a fight. And by the way, people I know pick fights because they know they're going to win. That's the worst part. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of. I've had a lot of people like that that are like, well, Brian's an easy target in this context. Not like an easily won fight. Not even win. It's yeah. just like, I, I know that I can just, well, you know, uh, better way to put it. they didn't win the fight. It's that I'm subtle in my opinion. I know Brian cannot change my mind on it. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> it's Noodles like, when you, all you've done is convince head. yourself. It's like, no, I convinced you because you couldn't convince me. It's like, no, I'm not convinced by you. It's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm right, though. It's like, no, you're not. Don't prove me wrong. No, I don't want to. Well, then I'm right. Like, what the fuck? Noodles is right. It is really funny that all that stuff is coming out of Beavis's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, people just get weird about that stuff, and it's like, I don't know. You and I do because they got, because they got pent up aggression and they want to be they want to be in control of things. It's it's just it's a power issue. People feel like they don't got a lot of power in their life, so that they when they get on the internet, it's like, well, no one can punch me here. 
So I'm just gonna start running my mouth as hard as I can. Well, it's like it's like that Spider Verse thing where uh, I was refreshing my inbox, like I'm ready to have a fight because I knew that would happen. But Spider, the Spider Verse thing about like a hundred animators were either fired or quit, you know, due to due to unenjoyable working conditions. Crunch. And like that's what they do in video yeah. games. They call it crunch. Yeah. Well, and on on and video and on animation, it's been crunch. around like, forever. Yeah, and I wrote as an animator, and then the guy, the guy from Activision wrote like, "Well, most companies aren't actually like that. In fact, you're wrong." And it's like, so what you did is you saw this post that said that this company was acting bad and went, "Oh, I'm gonna find someone who agrees with this post," and because I can't hey Brian, yell at the Sony, Sony's creator. film division's acting bad. Well, in Activision, we have a serving machine. Like, yeah, exactly. Well, did Activision make Spider Verse? No, but I. But in fairness, I went to that going for the least easy argument where I, I was just going to write the comment everyone agreed with. Big companies, bad. Yeah, well, the guy, the guy they're rapidly defending the corporations usually is there like in like five different arguments at once. And you're just like one of five people that he's yelling at. God, back when I was, I would go on like Doctor Who Facebook pages and shit. And I would be like, I like this thing. There would be this one dude who's like, you're, you're an idiot. I almost said the word with the R. But he would call people that, and, you know, he would talk about like, I don't know why this actor hasn't killed himself yet because he should be so ashamed that he was on this show and what it's become. How and I, I noticed, them. I looked at, I looked a few of those pages up. He's on every single one of them picking fights. You'll yeah. always see his icon, and it's like, that's what he does when he gets like off when, work. It's like, it's like when you go look up an animated video and you're like, oh, Pika Pete wrote something. Pikapiti wants to put his face on an animation comment section. Oh. Same well, thing except this guy picked fights. You just right. I, he's he's the he's he's everywhere. Here's, here's the thing, uh Everybody has a right to a bad opinion. <laughs> I would no sooner yeah. I would no sooner crucify somebody for a bad opinion than I would a bad joke. I know that that's not reciprocated. Yeah. But uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just the cross I got to bear, I guess. I am a firm believer in the uh, the fact, and I've I've seen it. Unless you're really really lucky, you will get yours in the end. Hi, how bad? Don't look at the stream. I'm not flipping that one over. Oh, don't in don't fact. flip it over. There's no point. <laughs> we need to put that on yours though. And give it like S mouths and E mouths. <laughs> I the dare you one, mock me. You, did you know that you're one, not allowed to mock me because I'm correct about socio political issues? <laughs> I guess I'm right about socio political issues. Oh, you made me all tiny. <laughs> That's funny. I got God ah. power. That's funny. I'm all tiny, guy. Hey, buddy. The hell am I doing over here? I'll make it bigger. That's mean. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll turn it back to normal in a minute. I just like cycling through these. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> I, I got the Mr. Enter one right here. Oh, these don't work as good because you cho she chose chroma blue. Oh, that's funny. Hang on. So the beard's like all transparent and shit. There, oh, I'll, actually, I'll, no, I'll I kind of overdid it on the chroma key uh, for yours, but like. I don't know what it is with the colors on your character, but or maybe just chroma green's what, easier. Whatever. Chroma blue sucks and it's for losers. Um Chroma's confusing. I've had certain things work. I I always see purple as an option now, and I've never gotten a good, like, clean mat with purple. Oh, you mean the magenta? Yeah, that magenta color. Yeah, they use that for Doom, funny enough. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? I gotta deliver this, but I don't know where. What's the objectives? Spill gasoline around refinery, collect and deliver four fuel cans. Where do I deliver them? Noodle says Activision has SA claims. What does that mean? Sexual assault. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I should go talk to that guy and ask. Uh, did you have a, a hands on him, boss? Uh, ask him about Bobby Kotek monitoring his pregnant worker's breast milk. I'm not gonna do any of that. Yeah, he does that. Because it's gonna start a, it, I know, but it's gonna start a nine-page 
He's gonna be like, I googled you and saw that you made a Chris Chan comment because you're stupid. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, you proved me wrong. Well, I, now you're down your mortal enemy. Your I will family. follow you around and I will get one on you one day. I've, I've had a couple mortal enemies. You remember, uh, remember oh, I, I made that video? Book enemies. Yeah, making fun of Batman versus Superman. And then that, that dude was like, even the most basic of troglodytes would understand that you, sir, are an asshat and need to die. And then I looked at his thing and it was all videos of him dressed as Zod running around going, kneel before Zod. <laughs> he made fun of his religion, dude. He deserves to be able to dude. wish death upon you. Yeah, he was telling me I do me like how quick, Snyder Brian. Wish. I'm going to interrupt mm -hmm. you. I like how quick people are to the death wish these days. Oh, yeah, I know. There was a time people would be a little bit slower to it's like, okay, look, I want you to go away. But now it's like, you need to fucking die and I'm going to make it happen. Oh, I didn't have them all. Well, I only needed four. It's like collect four. And I got five. Playing collect four right now. You just say like, turn in the corner at American Dad. What? What am I doing? What is this car? I challenge you to 50 paces at dawn. Molten Amber is right. I am definitely going. I'm not your buddy, guy. Where the fuck do I go? What am I doing? <laughs> Where do I deliver it? I, maybe I deliver it out in the ocean. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, no, you, you can go in the ocean. <laughs> At least you could ride the car back up. Yeah, it's easier second, underwater. I thought, I thought the smoke was going to come out and just, like, spin the camera around. Can I murder animals? Usually these games let you hurt the animals. Because <laughs> the 90s and that was still cool. It's funny. He's like, huh? You ran over a dog. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6, I bet you the rocket launcher won't even go near the dog. Do I gotta kill the whale? <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Uh, making lots of people happy. I mean, it says deliver the gasoline, right? And now we got, <laughs> now we got Halloween music. <laughs> doodaloo, doodaloo, doo. There's got to be a term for that exact term. It's got to be Hall spooky music. Hall yeah, Halliburton's spooky, spooky sounds number ensemble number five. It's on the Ren and Stimpy production music box set, I'm sure. Well, it's like baby know. elephant walk. Let's look at the objectives again. Spill gasoline around the refinery and collect and deliver fuel for fuel cans. Yeah, but like, where do I deliver them? Uh... Spagio! Hey, good to see you, Spagio. It says, collect them all and take them to the central structure of the single arch tower and the two silos. Thank you. The game does not really yeah, my... present that I, uh... information. I got the guide up just as he said that, too. I gotta go up over here. Maybe over here. I don't know. I'll try going up here. <laughs> Are you gonna go see, uh, Disney Pixar's if uh, if if emotion 
what is it if elements had feelings oh yeah i saw the i saw they're doing a b bunch of fake like you know piracy videos did you see oh, this God, brian they? No, so, they, so they take like they they like have somebody filming like a screen from an angle and they pretend like it's in the theaters and the characters are talking and everybody in the theaters like fucking screaming and shit and going crazy <laughs> And they're really yeah. hyping this one like B character. It's like a little dirt guy. And he's yeah. like, can we date? Cause you know, check this out. And he holds up his armpit and a flower goes out. And it's like, yeah, I became a man and I smell good. And everybody goes, whoa, <laughs> like, like way, way over the like top. Like over. they start fucking screaming. Right. That I smell a good line was pretty cringy. I saw and that in the. Well, they 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 played yeah. it for like people are losing their fucking shit and they love the Claude. Or his character's name is Claude. Hey, it worked. I know the character's name. Good job. <laughs> like it's it's it is kind of funny how fake it is, but it's like man, that's not gonna save the movie. No. I'm doing good, Spikey. I'm playing Vigilante Eight Second Offense, and I gotta say, I expected it to be better. Like, I remember enjoying this game. Like, there, it's got some elements in it. Like, if you destroy an enemy car, you can pick up car parts and juice up your car and make it better. But it's the uh, the qu level objectives, the quest objectives. Eh. This makes me want to play Slayer. Slayer's X. Revenge of I'll the tell you what, after this fight, we'll watch the ending cutscenes and maybe I'll come back and do a Vigilante 8 to stream if people really want it. I'm not against that. Uh... But you gotta leave in a minute, though, huh? No, I'm not working tonight. Oh, this I thought you said you gotta walk to work. No, I was joking. Uh, I'll try harder to be funny. No, it's I not fun. It's not try harder to be funny. It's like I just literally misunderstood you. Oh no no! I I was saying I gotta walk. I gotta walk to work. Uh, I I said it like thirty minutes after I was supposed to have left. Now it's like an hour after I was supposed to have left. But that joke is that that humor is pretty. That's what we call an knowing when. Yeah, that's when. You, well, it's like when Christian got mad at that dude for not knowing Chris's birthday. You should know my birthday. It's on my Wikipedia page. You know what? People you people know, know so many obsessive things about Chris Chan. Yeah, you I, know I can see why he would expect people to know his birthday. It's like, well, you know what my penis looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Look, fear the person whose butthole is shown on the internet because they have, they have so little left to to lose. Like, well, hold on. I know what your dick looks like, but I can't remember your birthday. It's like, oh, am I just a piece of meat to you? I thought we had something. <laughs> oh, can we talk about our conspiracy theory? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, so go ahead. Um, we did the math. Langley, like where the CIA is from, is actually uh, where the CIA is headquartered. Is like an hour and a half from where Chris lives. This is true. Oh, where Chris lived. Um. <laughs> we we were talking about do we know what Benjamin Franklin actually sounds like and we look there's no actual audio of Benjamin Franklin in existence and we were thinking like maybe Benjamin Franklin really did just go hmm, yes uh, you will look at my uh, Hello, my key George and my Washington. Paper, how are you today yes <laughs> I have some paperwork to fill out I signed everything and laminated it with tape I've been in France so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he invented bifocals and he electrocuted himself with a key, shocked himself to the extreme. Exactly, yeah. And we're, we're saying it's only like an hour or two away from uh, where the CIA was doing experiments. We're saying it's very likely that in the, in the late 80s, the CIA injected Barb with some sort of a serum or Bob with some sort of serum. Oh, it's like Batman that Beyond where, they, where they injected that guy with the serum to, so he has Batman's children. Yeah, you were you were saying that like that. Yeah, it's the late, it's the it's the tough mean lady from That's... Suicide Squad, right? Like oh, Amanda she, Waller, yeah. Yeah, Amanda Waller. She like injected a guy with uh, Batman DNA so that there could be another Batman and against Bruce Wayne's wishes. 
Right, right, but then I thought the punishment was that she did it to like multiple people, so there were like dozens of Batmans being made or something like that. I forget about I don't know if it went that far, but I do maybe, know that she like she like she like used Batman's DNA to make Batman come. Cause that was the only way she could make it work. It's like, look, we need Batman come. I'm, I, don't, I don't know how else to phrase this. It sounds like a job for the Suicide Squad, honestly. <laughs> we have to retrieve Batman's cum. I'll get my kit. Let me get, yeah, so, let me so get the <laughs> let me get the pills. We don't. I know. We we don't know what Benjamin Franklin sounded like, but I would like to think that Benjamin Franklin was. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm Hi, George music. Washington. Do you like in your bifocals? I made them myself. <laughs> I want every mean news article about my key kite off the, the newspapers. Stop making yeah. fun of me for my cool kite. <laughs> I invented electricity. You listen to me. You listen to me. If the health department of Pennsylvania sees that damn key that you tied to that kite, they could condemn our house and we would have to move out. Oof. But dad, I'm telling everyone in the newspaper to not make fun of my key. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. You look, you loaded that kite with electricity. You go unload it. Spaggio asks, is there any games you're looking forward to? Uh, geez, there's uh, Armored Core 6, Fires of the Rubicon. That's the big one. There's a few other odds and ends I'm looking forward to, but a lot of newer games are kind of, it's not that they're bad, it's just video games are very derivative. And some of these games are so similar to each other that it, it I get excited for it, but then I play them. I'm like, oh yeah, I've done this before. How the hell do I enter in passwords? God, I asked my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa actually asked if we were going to go do something this week, and that made me happy. I've been working harder on being a little more attentive and uh, familial. And he... Uh, I was like, oh, we should go see Indiana Jones because I just keep seeing reviews that it sucks. Like, there's so many reviews of that movie. So I was like, let's go see Indiana Jones. And then he goes, he, he writes back, that's not out for like another week. I was like, no way. And I looked it up. Uh, the, I guess the review embargo is down, but like, that's still like, it comes out on what, the 30th? That's six days away. That's crazy, dude that so many people are already shitting on the movie and like with spoilers hold on now i'm I was doing a cheat code what movie oh indiana jones that people already hate it and it's not even out yet like well, it's like because reviewers it's old media I also know. last one sucks so you got a reason to like be like eh, i don't trust this to be good right but i, I noticed there's it's i think i think people i think nostalgia is kind of dying in a lot of ways that's good like they don't want to see they don't want to see the old masters come out to do another giant movie they want to see like a a24 or some new something they don't want to see the same old dude direct the same fucking movies over and over and over and over and over again they want something different the problem is they also still want to have star wars though it's like yeah. i want star wars i just don't want the old people that were involved in it because they're old and lame and then they make stuff oh, that right. sucks. All right, movie time. Hey, look, it's Amanda Waller. I think it's funny that you beat the game with that character. You just see him get his ass kicked anyways. 
That's funny. That's how you could have saved Dale Earnhardt, too. Actually, that probably would have killed a lot more people now I think about it. <laughs> I'll save you, Dale. And <laughs> you, like, turn to the left and kill, like, 18 drivers. That's what happened to the Hindenburg. I was going to say, this feels a lot more like a... Uh, actual game cutscenes. It doesn't feel like weird indie films. Yeah, they're getting there. They're figuring it out. Uh -oh. <laughs> that ragdoll physics. We had to animate that by hand. The faces don't look quite as nightmarish, but they're still pretty bad. But they're but but these scenes actually seem to like do stuff. The other ones seemed like weird indie film stuff. <laughs> He's got a PT this cruiser. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, he's a future cop. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, one of mush triangles. <laughs> I didn't think that said a wall for a second. The Olympic Games are starting. You can tell he's from the future because he has a PT Cruiser. <laughs> 50s nostalgia. My dad had a PT Cruiser and he put LED lights in it and like a subwoofer. He used to go around like listening to like trance at full volume. Yeah, it needs to be flashier. It's just funny to see a PT Cruiser dressed up to look like a modern car. I just put a shell around it to make it look like a regular car. <laughs> Hey, exactly. PT Bruiser, man. Smack you, I like Vigilante 8, but I think Twisted Metal's endings are better to where it's like you get a conclusive dumb like thing at the end. <laughs> Look at her face. Cause I, I really can't follow this too good. <laughs> I want to meet a woman who looks like that. They invented windmills? iPad. They invented iPads. Oh, yeah, you're that. right. They did invent an iPad there. I remember there was a Futurama where Fry draws in an iPad, and I remember looking at that going, one day we'll have the technology to draw on the screen. We finally have it. <laughs> I need to draw on the screen. Oh, that's great. They stole his car. That animation of him walking. Did I ever have that glitch where it plays all the endings in TM? No, I haven't had that one, but that's not, that's funny that it might accident, accidentally skip and just play all. That's great. Uh oh. It's the alien from the first game and the monkey, they're friends. The alien looks kind of like Guido. What's his name? I think his name is Alien. <laughs> What's the alien's name in Star Wars? It shouldn't have been Guido. What the fuck? Guido? Yeah, it sounds fake, but I think you're right. No, it's Greedo? Greedo? Oh, yeah, I think that might be correct. I don't think his name is Guido. <laughs> I, think, oh, I thought she was sliding, like, but it's, it's, it's roller skates. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed so to she say graduated? the other word. It's Greedo. Hey, look at those pigtails. I like that she graduated and had a quest all in the same two second span. Because <laughs> they couldn't render her doing other stuff. She couldn't go home and get the iPad out. Uh oh. That's not supposed to happen. His shirt's backwards. Is that an accident? <laughs> Not 
Wait, what? I know we're playing Diablo. This is actually how you get a video game made. Step by step. <laughs> but it will be made by Activision. That's what happens when your contract's terminated at Activision. <laughs> this is what happens when you work on Spider-Verse and yeah, get laid off. Yeah, right when they lay you off, big laser comes from the sky and explodes all your flesh off and your bones shatter into polygons. And then a dude walks up to the, the polygon bones and goes, you know, not all companies are like that. Yeah. You know, we're hiring a DreamWorks right now, but it's for a TV show. <laughs> we're hiring. I do like when people are like, well, I got it. I got the best job ever. Why can't you get one? Morgamore, I did like the trash wizard. That's my favorite so far. I'm sad that he's dead. Come I, back. This, I like the this, idea of a wizard a standing on a pile of burning tires and chanting, <laughs> waving a stick around. <laughs> Man, nobody's ever going to be able to spend this briefcase full of money. It just keeps getting stolen. Damien Wolf says the lightning is what happens to the female Activision employees. The hell? Is he bailing? No, why would you just leave it there open? <laughs> They'll never notice. It's fine. Time to sell you to Mexico. Get two million. <laughs> Wait, what? What is he doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what we're watching. <laughs> You're never gonna get the truck out of that sand. <laughs> yeah, it's they're fucked. <laughs> That's the that thing's there forever. Look like Xbox 360 characters. What the? Whoa. <laughs> Remember the king of the hill where they got the truck stuck up the up the mountain? Hey, doesn't the guy they just ran into have somebody in the trunk of his car? Yeah. So I guess she dies. That was a good game. What the hell is the story? I don't understand. That was a good story. They should hire some actors. I guess he got the million dollars and then they went on an island vacation, I guess, sort of, but it still doesn't really track as to what the hell <laughs> actually happened. I know the bad guys <laughs> lose and like the CIA agents like graduate from college and the space, I like the space monkey and the uh, alien. Yeah. The concept of a space monkey and an alien being a friend is pretty good. The alien endings are great in these, especially the one where the, and the first one where the guy gets in the UFO and then crashes it. And then they mistake him for the alien. <laughs> that's pretty funny. With his burned off face. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like there's a couple, there's a couple that got a genuine laugh out of me, but a lot of these are just like, oof. This bank you ask, can I play bully? I guess I could play bully. I, I think I need co-commentary for that one though. Uh, that to bully. be a Brian joint. I love Bully. Bully's good. I've just, uh, I played it a lot, you know? <laughs> That's fair. So it's good to have, it's good to have some conversation during some of the side beats. Like un unlocking the bicycle is a huge deal, but man, it's a pain. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like stuff to do. I forgot about the bicycle. I like some of these PS1 games because you just boot it up and go, but Vigilante 8 kind of shows that that growing game philosophy of like, no, it can't just be a straight game. You got to like put in some side objectives and some new quests. It's like, no, please just let me play normal. I mean, there's an art. There's just like a regular arcade mode, but that don't matter. Backstory. Aftermath. Thanks to the Bravely. <laughs> Bravely. First of all, for fries with 125 votes, chili fries wins. Regular second, cheese third, and poutine fourth. Ooh, no Canadians here. Thanks to the bravery, bravery of the vigilantes, the coyote terrorist gang that plagued American Southwest for nearly two years was defeated following the winter of 1975, following the mysterious disappearance of cowboy leader Sid Byrne. Fewer many gangsters disbanded despite numerous attempts to regroup them by the aspiring coyote slick Clyde Omar, the multinational 
oil conglomerate, which secretly bankrolled the Coyotes, was forced to retreat by the valiant efforts of the vigilantes, though occasionally skirmishes would continue for years to come. The devastated United States is finally on the way to get recovery. Clyde's rise is nonetheless slick. Had ambitions were not lost on Omar and soon he joined the, or he joined the new masters, muscling in on all other oil markets around the world. And the decades that followed Omar's aggressive methods propelled it towards global dominance. Slick himself had proven instrumental in the success of many acquisitions and was rapidly climbing Omar's ranks. Finally, in 2015, following the violent power struggle, the 70-year-old Slick became the new CEO and was bestowed the title Lord of the Lord Clyde of Omar. That year, under Clyde's leadership, Omar reached its goal of becoming uh, the only <laughs> global oil supplier except for one territory the united states and fall by the following year clyde's health was deteriorating and he knew that his time was up but the prospect of passing on without seeing america crumble became unbearable to make matters worse u.s government assisted by the united nations initiated serious inquiries into omar's questionable business standards and practices suddenly clyde's entire empire was in jeopardy back in the 70s when clyde learned that researchers at stanford had conducted the first experimental time travel experiment uh he immediately dispatched obake his most trusted assistant to steal the device. Clyde was a standard cute travel back to the 70s America and destroy what was left of it. This way he could change history and make Omar reign supreme. Since the time travel capsules could propel only the limited amount of matter, Clyde selected his best operative, Abak and Dallas 13, the latest model of Omar's line of cybernetic assassins as his only travel companions. Equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry and automotive enhancements, the trio crossed the fabric of time near Winslow, Arizona on September 17th, 1977. Oh boy, none of that was covered anywhere in those cutscenes. None of that. I, I know I know that Clyde turned evil. Remember when he put on the bracelet? Yeah. I remember that. Let's see how many people made this. Six. Close, just ten. Ten. Ten people worked on this. That's pretty amazing. That's true. And Activision. Remember, remember, you know, I like, they're not like crediting the, the European uh, QA or the, uh, the <laughs> you know, African HR or the Chinese, like, you know, catering. That's I don't true. like the credits are bloated full of people that don't matter. Oh, here we go. Voiceover sound element. Oh, hey, there's actors. <laughs> Just fucking comma, 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 whatever. <laughs> that one, that one. Names are kind of blending together here. They have more voice actors than they did programmers or artists. Oh, and here's the cutscenes, people. Script and production by Luxoflux Corp. Okay, so they did it in-house, huh? So it was the 10 people. Oh, wow. That's cool. Pretty character models. Here we go. Burke Studios. Ah, they outsource those. But it's Steve Burke. Wait a minute. And Dan Burke. I got a feeling Burke Studios is just two brothers and their friend. <laughs> Additional vehicle models by Creat Studio, wherever that is. Storyboards by Famous Frames. Colin Grant. It's just one guy. Why? why hey, why Famous the Frames. Company? I got uh, I got rejected from working at Famous Frames. <laughs> Oh, there you go. See, we got a link. They, uh, yeah, they asked me, uh, to do, I think it was 10 colored drawn shaded storyboards in under two hours or something like that. And I got it done in three and they were like, yeah, you, you're not talented enough to work here. I was like, thank you. <laughs> that sounds like a fun job. Yeah. And they said that I had to be, have my phone open for like jobs at three in the morning stuff like that hurry somebody needs you to do a storyboard of a guy eating a candy bar right now yeah we don't have any description of the character but we expect you to get it correct based off the fact that this is a whatever just do it i looked it up the turnaround on that job is people people work for those companies and kill themselves they just sent one guy out to do this one yeah I you know. got it shit this game had more testers than programmers
Thank you, Stacy. Wow, how do you say that last name? Drellishik. Drell Drellishak. Why are we crediting Activision UK? What do they do? <laughs> hey, well, you I was wrong. I was like, oh, finally, we don't put all yeah. the bullshit. Here we are. Thank you, Christian Strail from Germany. God. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Special thanks is bigger than the staff. Yeah, I was hoping to see like a name that doesn't belong there anymore. Like someone who's like <laughs> persona non grata. <laughs> and thank you, George W. Bush. Um Thank you, Bill Gates. For making Windows who's the guy from, special who's software. The guy from yeah. Who's the guy from Aerosmith? <laughs> oh yeah, I Steven Tyler. It. Steven Tyler. Thank you, Steven I'm Tyler. So He's like he didn't I didn't do anything, but they put me in the credits anyways. That was nice of him. Feel free to follow your pleasures. Hold on, what is yeah the end of fucking the end of revolution x is pretty bad i guess let's watch the intro okay wait what hold on So you press start, and then press circle to replay. I think replay just replays the last level you did. Good night, Noodles. If somebody's texting you don't want to talk to, it's always okay to just not respond. Yeah, it just replays the last level. Never mind. Yeah. I think that's it for Vigilante 8. I almost honestly expect there to be more yeah i guess i could have played as all the characters and done all the levels and the objectives but i find the objectives be real boring because it's just destroy collect and protect those are just the three extras they got well, like three kinds of stories which is fine but like it's kind of like playing mortal kombat and the mortal kombat goes like okay you need to defeat this guy, but you need to throw the dumpster at him, do 15 jump kicks, and make sure to throw him five times and then kill him. And it's like, that's annoying, and I don't like that. I, 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 I want to just play video game. I don't want to go through an ordeal. Yeah. Brandon says I never would have guessed only 10 pe people made this game. That's how PS1 games were. But also, they didn't have a high turnover rate, so, like, when you see credits for, like, Diablo or whatever, you gotta keep in mind, or, like, Last of Us especially, when you see the credits for Last of Us 2, you gotta remember, like, 75% of those people got fired. But they had to put them in the credits Wait, anyways. I don't think there were enough good programmers that knew how to do PS1 stuff back in the day that you could just start firing people left and right, because then they'd be like, well, there's no game then. Because nobody knows how to work off of, uh, you know, Randall's code that he has going here. That's all streamlined, so you can just, like, cycle through people like you do fucking tissues. <laughs> all right, Hubbard, I'm going to bed. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to bed, too. I'm out. I'm out. This is fun, though. I like Vigilante 8. Final thoughts on it are it's a product of, its, product of the time. It's a good product, but I don't think it is as good as twisted metal there you go i agree what's been asked didn't they quit no like uh, some people quit but like the, the turnover rate dude those are people being let go they quit brian they they chose not to work at uh right. yeah they, they said hey you know this job at they chose not to work on spider verse either yeah yeah, I, qu I, I quit and also uh, I'll go on ahead and not work in the animation industry ever again. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching, Ooh. everybody. Thank you for joining me, Brian. I appreciate y'all chatting. Thank you for dropping like and chatting. And those of you lurking, thank you too. I appreciate you coming by to watch. Y'all have a good night. Thank you again. And uh, thank you for the tip. Sleepy Dog Zone, I appreciate you. Much obliged for your generosity. 
We are out of here. Have a good night. Good night, y'all.